Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Matt, uh, pronouns he, him, showwriter, and narrator of Extra Credits. And uh, welcome to the night portion of our Vampire Day slash night. We are super happy you can all be here for something a little bit different than what we normally do. Uh, and what better way to kick things off for, uh, and actually, this is a fortuitous event that Arthur found. Uh, it's Bella Lugosi's birthday today. We did not plan that. Happy coincidence. Uh, so happy 139th birthday to Mr. Lugosi right now. Um, but what we're going to do this evening is we're all going to be our own creatures of the night and play some Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, and I would like to start off by everyone sort of introducing who they are, what they do, and who they'll be playing tonight, starting with uh, you, Sir Arthur. Hello, I am Sir Arthur, or just <laughs> Arthur if you prefer. Sir Arthur is my father. Uh, I'm uh, use he, him pronouns. Uh, I'm the community manager at Extra Credits, and tonight I will be playing the Tremere Professor Silas Elridge. And uh, throw it to uh, Jen. Please introduce Hello. yourself. I am Jen Kretschmer. Uh, my pronouns are she, they. You can find me on Twitter as at Dreamwisp. I do a bunch of different things in tabletop. I'm also an author and a streamer. Um, and I am playing uh, Dana Richter of Banu Hakim. Uh, and I'm going to toss it over to SVP. Hello there. Uh, SVP, a.k.a. Stephen Van Patten. Uh, author, raconteur, tequila enthusiast. <laughs> Uh, and tonight, uh, I am taking a character that I created uh, named Kristen Brookwater, and I'm giving him sort of a revamp, haha, uh, just for the sake of this uh, fantastic game we're about to play. Speaking of the game we're about to play, uh, let me introduce you to Jasmine. Hi, hello. I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl, Bular, and it is my pleasure to be the storyteller for tonight's Chronicle. I'm so excited to take our new licks, that's our really hip vampire slang for uh, new vampires, on a romp through Seattle, uh, which is where me and Arthur are from. I just found that out like three <laughs> minutes before the show. <laughs> uh, I'll throw to you, Matt. <laughs> Um, I, I will be playing uh, the Malkavian uh, motivational speaker, Jacob Shade. Uh, and yes, this is still me. I just lost like five pounds off my face. It's, it's, it's odd for me too, and I apologize. Um, but also behind the scenes of this entire uh, thing, it would not be possible with your wonderful, without your wonderful overlord, uh, your streaming overlord, excuse me, Will. He's running the back along with the mods. Uh, they're here all game long to uh, discuss our undead adventure in real time. We will not be looking at chat ourselves to sort of stay in the game, uh, just so you know, but there will be uh, so people sort of there and I'm, I'm looking forward to sort of cruising back through that. Uh, a little bit of business up top before we jump in. Uh, this story got to came about in a lot of different ways, and they're all kind of fortuitous. Basically, if you're familiar, uh, a few months ago, back in April, we did a uh, fundraiser for my birthday for Rise Above the Disorder. It's a, a mental health charity that does great works. You crushed that goal. We did a D&D one shot. You continued to crush goals. We realized we wanted to give you more stuff. Uh, and and we knew that one one game as a reward would not be enough. We also knew folks wanted to see us play other RPG systems other than D&D, &D because yes, they do exist. Uh, and the uh, we also love Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, Arthur, particularly in our crew, most of all, uh, is, is hyper familiar. I haven't played uh, in a few years, so I'm gonna be a bit rusty. But then uh, we found out about it being Vampire the Masquerade's 30th anniversary. And uh, for their Month of Darkness campaign, we wanted to sort of be a part of that. So a big up to, uh, thanks to Jason Carl, the brand marketing manager for World of Darkness, for getting us in touch with Jasmine and Jen and helping make this whole thing happen. It was very, very cool. Um, yeah, and oh, side note, just before we keep keep going, uh, Will's birthday, who you cannot see here, he is waving, I assure you, uh, is doing a fundraiser for his birthday for Rad again as well this Saturday. So, uh, Will, if you could have the mods or yourself put a command in chat, just in case people want to keep uh, keep that train going. Uh, they're a wonderful cause. You can check them out at urrad.org. They help a ton of people, so please uh, give if you can. Um, I guess that is everything. Uh, oh, it was the last thing. This is a nighttime event, so technically... EC After Dark rules are in effect, meaning, you know, language can get a little bit less wholesome. So let's just keep that in mind as as we move forward, everybody. And uh, I guess with that, uh, take it away, Jasmine. Ah, uh, yes, the queen of being unwholesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, night falls on Seattle. It's cold, 
It's winter. It's October. The perfect time for a vampire story. The perfect time for our vampire story. The moon rises half-heartedly, for it is not a full moon. And as the winter's chill picks up, you hear the half-naked trees kind of rattle, almost like bones in the wind, Dana, as you slink to your next target. It's cold and foggy. It's the perfect cover for the sort of misdeeds you usually undertake at this time of night. You smell autumn in the air and something else. Is that the decay of leaves that lingers slowly rotting away or someone rotting away? The wind howls again. The trees shake, perfectly covering your already almost silent footsteps. What does Dana look like as she makes her way towards her target? Dana is short and compact and muscular. Uh, She has dark hair and a hood pulled up. Um, She's wearing a... uh, a belt with kind of a holster on the side and and boots and all over there are sort of pockets with different tools and devices in them. Um, she is muscular uh, like a gymnast, which in fact she is, uh, and moves with the confidence of someone who is quite familiar with moving quickly and quietly. She She's very comfortable in the shadows and... and mm-hmm sneaking amongst them as she approaches her target. Ah. Bet. Give me a dexterity and larceny roll. Actually, let's do dexterity and stealth. This takes a long time. It's, it's, <laughs> there's like eight buttons they make Sneaky. you press through. I think that was everything I needed to put in Ah, two successes. You're quiet. Super humanly quiet. But she's quieter. Her face appears from the shadows in a sort of alley next to you. Um, You see her eyes first. They're an acid green. Her pupils look like those of a snake's narrow slits in her eyes. Um, right after her eyes, you see the glistening in her fangs, also snake-like. She licks one of them and says, Dana. You recognize her as Sila, a fellow kindred from Seattle. You're not supposed to be here. Neither are you. Mm. This is my mark. Is it? I was here first. Dibs. Oh, dibs. Are we 12? Thankfully not. She slinks Hmm. closer to you. Um, You see now that she's uh, dressed in almost what looks to be a silk dress. Um... She operates a bit differently than you. Her goal is finding a way into buildings through social subterfuge. Yours Mm -hmm. through climbing on the outside of them. You notice uh, even despite the bitter chill in the wind, her undead flesh does not respond in any kind of goosebump. She seems completely at home, a creature of the night. It's hardly a... Hardly a tire for this sort of thing. I think it's the perfect attire for most occasions. <laughs> well, perhaps we could help one another here. What did you have in mind? <sighs> what did you have in mind? There's a job. They contacted Mm -hmm. me, but I don't want to take it. Why not? It involves annoying the Camarilla. Well, 
I suppose some people wouldn't want to get on their bad side. Quit playing coy. You see her eyes suddenly narrow. And where her face was placid, you see almost a viper about to strike. Her hair kind of pulled back into a long black pointy tail, kind of snaps a little bit in the wind as she kind of like lunges towards you and stops. Easy. If you don't want the job, maybe someone else could take it. You've been trying to get in with our organization for some time now. This is your invitation, so take it you will. Fair enough. What do I need to do? She takes one pale hand and gently strokes your cheek, if you allow her to. Sure. And I sort of touch her. Be careful. I don't want you to get hurt. (laughs) I'm not afraid of pain. I know. So what do you need from me? You might be familiar with him. It's one of his uh, assistants, I think, that came to me. Christian, the Baron. Mm. Mm. It seems like he's in some trouble with the Camarilla. And therefore, one of his licks came to me today and asked me to help him procure an object. He's putting together a team. But you know me. I'm very particular about the jobs I take. Exactly. I like to keep my claws clean. Hmm. And you notice she has beautifully manicured fingernails. (laughs) Well, we wouldn't want to have to dirty those pretty little hands, would we? That's your job. Fair enough. What is it that I'm retrieving? That I can't tell you. Well, that you makes a difficult him, He has to accept you for the job too, you know. Fair enough. We'll enjoy your evening. Oh, I will. And watch Be yourself on that my dress. Turf. It's his turf, I believe. We're at the border. Lines get fuzzy out here. So do heads with a couple of drinks. Are you inviting me out, Sila? You know it. Hmm. I find you rather an amusing plaything. Well, we'll just have to see what What's happening after this is all completed then, won't we? Yeah. Seems you know where to find me. Of course. You better make it out in one piece or I'll be cross with you. Mm. You might have to dirty those claws, though. Don't count on it. Her stilettos clack away on the cold concrete sidewalk. She I know how manner. impractical her wardrobe is for anything <laughs> remotely related to what we're trying to accomplish here. Her, you see her red bottoms flashing as she clacks away in the Laurelhurst district of Seattle. <laughs> Meanwhile, I step back and the soft leather on my boots silently just slips into the night and I start heading to Christian yeah you are aware of where Christian keeps his headquarters a recording studio in Bellevue previously located in South Seattle but uh, through the slow and inevitable encroach of encroach of big corpo has been pushed forever southwards down into Bellevue now but it is not here that we follow Dana as she makes her way down. It is actually north towards a bustling casino. Bright lights, smokers, the ding of of machines, 
the rancor of people merrymaking as they gamble away their life savings, we pan over and see an auditorium, a special show. In fact, there's a banner outside. The Emerald Casino has a very special guest speaker today, wearing a suit that would have been snappy maybe 30 years ago. A vampire with marble-like skin stands on the stage addressing the crowd. Who do we see, Matt? Uh, you see uh, one Jacob Shade, again, very dressed, uh, far too 80s for the current era that he lives in. Uh, cream suit, shoulder pads, uh, a little bit too long and a little bit too baggy for its own, uh, I guess, fashion good. Uh, and he is uh, standing sort of like getting ready to begin uh, one of his seminars, which he has been doing uh, at this point for quite a long time, most of his uh, his, his uh, people that listen are amazed how young he still looks, uh, not knowing, actually, of course, that uh, he is not alive at all. Uh, all right. <clears throat> I know why you all came here today. You're unhappy. You're fed up. Or, you know, you know, maybe... Maybe you're not fed enough, right? So that's exactly what I'm going to cover in this 17 part class. Now, I wanna start out with a little exercise, okay? Uh, you, uh, third row right there, yes, hi. Uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, Parker. Parker, Parker, great, love that name. I want you to picture someone, Parker, okay? This is gonna help you Mm -hmm. in your journey here. I want you to picture the person that you, Parker, are jealous of. There's gotta be someone out there. Put them in your mind. Get them in, the, get them in your head. You, got them. Okay. With their perfect house or their perfect partner, perfect job, perfect body, whatever, okay. How many nights, Parker, have you lied awake just dreaming, yearning to have that person's life? I'm guessing a lot, right? Yeah. Well, the secret is, you're never going to have their life, Parker. You're never going to get to live that person's essence entirely. You're not. But the real secret is, you don't want to be that person, Parker. Don't believe me? Okay, okay, hold on. Everybody, Parker, now I want you to picture the person you think the person you're jealous of is jealous of. God? Possibly. All Jeff I know- Jeff Bezos? It could be. I can't tell you who that person is because it's in your mind. The point is, Parker, D you can be the person that that person is jealous of. And that's really what we're kind of all after here, right? Just remember, you don't need to believe in yourself so much. You just need to believe in the me that believes in you. You just have to hunger for more, Parker. As you say this, role manipulation and performance. Ooh. This is, you are publicly speaking, so you yes. get your bonus die from that. Okay, so give me a moment here. Uh, let's see, that is doo -doo 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 -doo, performance. That is for, and uh, what performance and what was it? Sorry. Manipulation. Manipulation. So sorry. There we go. Six of them. He's good at this chat. Okay. So that's what? Um, three successes. Yes. Or is it? Oh, it's two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, two. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Five. It's two successes. Um, yeah, you... Parker is sold. <laughs> he... He gets almost excited and he's like, yeah, yeah, I have to live my own reality. You know, this is, this is, this is my life. I have to hunger for more for me. That's exactly Ram, right. Yeah. 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 And as Parker is like, Yo, this is amazing. How many more classes are in this class? You hear another voice rise up almost half drunkenly from the back of the crowd. 
you see a woman with her hair pulled up into two buns on top of her head. Her face like kind of drawn into a perpetual scowl. Her her skin is like caramel, like underneath a tempest of anger. And uh, she's wearing a leather ripped jacket. And her voice comes up like almost like a like a thunderclap from the back of the crowd. She says, "The only thing I hunger for is your blood, little man." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, uh, did someone in the back say something? Did you listen here, you limey fuck? Your I'm... advice is dog shit, and you cost my brother his life. Do I recognize the voice at all? You recognize, recognize her as one of your former clients, Lavinia. Lavinia. Another kindred from the area. Uh, everybody, I'm so sorry. This, um... For this this interruption, uh, Lavinia will be able she to speak as knuckles. soon as we're done. Hmm? Oh, done? We're just getting started. All right, you want to do this? You want to you want to do this publicly oh, in front I've of all the waiting? Everybody, everybody here, would you like to see Daunt? Oh, what was it? Sorry. Her face darkens as she activates Daunt. The shadows underneath her eyes grow, and she seems to become like two or three times her size. Am I able, and again, forgive me for not knowing the rules here. Mm -hmm. Oh, go I, for it. Am I able to sort of counter that mm -hmm. with, um, what was my ability here? It was, do, 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 uh, compel. Like to just, yeah. to do one word. Yes, right? of course. Uh, um, all right. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a compel roll going. Okay. So, what Talk me through do. that because, I, again, I'm sorry. I'm so rusty at this. Of course. So this is a free action. You don't need to make a check to see. You're not rousing your blood, so you're not going to get hungrier from this. Okay. Go ahead and roll your charisma and your dots and dominate. Okay. Charisma and dominate. And this will be versus her intelligence and resolve. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> that ooh was so exciting. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Yahtzee! <laughs> what do you say to her? Sit. She sits. <laughs> there it is, everybody. You can handle any situation so long as you know who you're dealing with. This is all the time I have right now, everybody. Thank you so much. Please check uh, uh, Desmond in the back for your meeting mark. And if you're donating cash, you can put it to him. We also are accepting uh, blood donations as well for the local hospital, just in case you want to pay that way too. Because remember, your salvation, your betterment is not just monetary and neither is everybody else's. Thank you so much. And I'll leave the stage. Yeah. Do, are you attempting to get away from her? No, nope, your compel nope. will last for like one scene. I'm trying to clear so. the room. Like, so, so for instance, I'll step down from the stage and like start like gesturing people to go to the places where they would mm -hmm. exit and like shake hands, like basically try to form a line for people to like those annoying con talks where a speaker gets <laughs> off and it's like a hundred people waiting. I'm trying mm -hmm. to cultivate that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you stop and greet e each individual person or do, oh, are you trying to get them out of there quickly? I, I do it as quick as I can. I'm like, oh, right this way. Thank you. So, oh, it's so nice to see you again. Oh, yes. No. Oh, yes. You told me about that. Oh, my God. That's so wonderful. That's so wonderful. Yes. Right over there. Like that sort of mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm ushering. Roll me a wit and an etiquette Ooh. for how quickly and expeditiously you are able to read the situation. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> you are still in the middle of getting just the last few stragglers out. You did get one success there. For our audience and people who are not familiar with the game, um, in, in Vampire the Masquerade, we roll 10-sided uh, dice, and um, everything uh, over a six is a success. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I think I said that right. Um, Crits only count if they're in twos, but uh, if you do get them, they count as double the number of successes. So it's kind of great. Um, so that's only one success. So you're, you're somewhat successful with this. You are only ushering out the last few stragglers, the last four or five people that are really part of your just most devoted fan club. And you hear it, a sickening crack 
as she breaks the sort of wooden chair she's sitting on, forming a stake from one of the legs, and starts striding across the ballroom towards you with bloody murder in her eyes. First, security! (laughs) (laughs) I'll I'll back out of the room. I'm not going to act like, I'm going to act as though I am shocked and terrified and need to leave and I'll run out screaming, security, sec- there's a there's a mad woman in there. I think it's reasonable to assume that Jacob Shade has some security. Um, let's, or the casinos. Let's look at your, yeah, or the casinos. Let's look at your sheet to see what you have. <laughs> Watch, I have nobody. Um, uh, you don't have many resources, it looks like. I well, I had, I had um, what was it? Um, What's the wealth one or the um, finance? I had two. Ah. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, we could say that you definitely have a guard on retainer. Um, here's a question. Is Jacob Shea the type of individual to ghoul his guards? To kind of if, imbue them with the power of Vitae and rob them of a little bit of their self-determination? If they agreed to it? Uh, Oh, they most definitely did. Yes. Then yes. A hundred percent. Oh, Jen, I think you're muted. Yeah, you're muted, Jen. What'd you say? I said, oh, those motivational talks and all. Of course. They they definitely agreed. This is how they live forever, right? There's just so many benefits. Because everyone knows the Vitae of Kindred can extend the life of any mortal who drinks of it. But as always, there's a little price to pay. Your ghoul, what is his name or her name or their let's name? Let's say, let's, uh, let's, uh, that could have been Desmond. I was saying check with mm. Desmond at the, it's Desmond. Oh, uh, right away, sir. Yep. <laughs> Desmond goes and, uh, sort of interposes himself between this woman's wrath, Lavinia's <laughs> wrath, and you, giving you a moment to escape. You hear a kerfuffle from the back of the ballroom. Do you continue leaving? No. Is there a way Mm -hmm. for me to use that sort of confusion in Desmond's sort of going to sort of... You know how sometimes there's conference rooms, right? And I don't know how this place is laid out, but if this is how it is. If I left the conference room, but it was in one of those like foldy wall, you know, the foldy wall conference rooms? Yes, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could I go into another conference room and try to sneak through the back as quickly as I could to sort of get behind her? Yes. Give me a roll of your, let's do your wits and awareness. So question about the vampire in roll 20, because I don't even know this and I'm just typing him in on hand. And I saw that, mm-hmm. uh, Jen, you were able to like, just punch him in. How do I do that? So, so it's cleaner uh, for everybody. Yeah. You can if just, you have your character sheet open. Yep. There should be a little, uh, D10 next to whatever your stat is. And then you can click that under your skills and then it'll ask you to add on the additional attribute. Okay, so, all right, here we go. So it was what again, uh, Jasmine? I'm so sorry. Um, I think it was wits and awareness. Wits and awareness. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so you'll okay. want to cl- click awareness and then cl- add wits to it. Thank you so much. This will make this much better. Submit. Mm-hmm. Make Submit. it a little bit easier for you. Love it, love it, love it, love there it. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> Learning. Fantastic. So we've got four successes. Um, Yeah, you are able to come up uh, from behind her, making good use of this folding wall maze that occurs at conventions and casinos. You see her standing over Desmond. Desmond looks a little bruised and battered because I'm going to be honest with you, I I rolled horribly for poor Desmond. Desmond. (laughs) (laughs) And rolled very well for Lavinia. Okay. While you I'm see walking he up, has like a nasty gash on on uh, one cheek and she is repeatedly punching him in the face. While I'm walking up, can I sl- slide my hand across wherever she broke that uh, thing to make the stake and grab another one myself? Yes, of course. Yeah, and my goal- definitely. With how, with how good you rolled, yes, you were able to easily fashion a stake and get behind her. And I'm basically going to put it right at the back of where her heart would be. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to sort of lean a little bit and I'll be like, all right, I think Desmond's had, a, had enough fun for one day. <laughs> yeah, this is an unaware attack. She's 
you you were very quick and quiet. She thought you left. And she's in the middle of beating up poor Desmond. As soon as the stake goes in, you see her face just freeze. <gasps> as she immediately gets sort of like locked up. You see there's still motion behind her eyes. She's still aware of everything that's happening. Right. Because in this game, when vampires get staked, they are more suspended in a horrible sort of state where they're aware of everything that's happening, but unable to act. Uh, at this point, I would sort of catch her. Mm -hmm. Can, they can't respond, right? They're just like... No. But she's, she, you know she can hear you. You would know that. Lavinia... You really have to not interrupt me when I'm speaking. This is the most important part of my night, and this got out of hand, and I don't know what happened to your brother. I don't know why you stopped coming to the courses. All I know is you made me mess up episode three of 17, and that's one of my favorite, favorite talks. <sighs> All right, well, you know what? Um, was there anything else you wanted to tell me? Like, can I see, is, like, is there anything in her eyes that I could sort of? <sighs> yes. Okay. To, to, for the sake of story, tell me if I can do this, because mm -hmm. I know I'm figuring mm -hmm. she has information to sort of yeah. get this train of rolling. I would like to uh, basically act like she's drunk, put her on my shoulder, have Desmond walk behind her, be like, <laughs> No, we just got to get you back to the room. It's totally fine. Like, get her basically ah, to where we are staying. I see. Yeah, yeah. And and after that, uh, unless I have, you can stop me whenever I have to roll, but I mm -hmm. would bring her to a room, basically mm -hmm. bind her so I knew she couldn't attack me, and then I will remove the stake as soon as I am sure that the, uh, the restraints are solid. Okay. If Give that's me... possible. Yes, of course. Give me a... Let's do a charisma and performance roll for how well you sell her being drunk and okay. escorting her out. There's definitely going to be a few people that think you're creepy. Yeah. <laughs> that is going to be a side effect of this. Yeah. It didn't go great. <laughs> One success. Your passage is marked by a... A, a woman smoking uh, outside the casino. She okay. cracks a crooked smile and walks away. She gets into her Tesla and drives. She arrives at a recording studio. SVP, what does this recording studio look like? Well, <clears throat> let's see. Um, I've got this one rap kid that I'm producing or that I'm sort of producing actually. I does so, so here's the thing. I'm not really that big on rap because I'm from Count Basie's era of music and whatever, but you know, I gotta keep the lights on. Um so I have this one cat. He you know, he's in the booth and he's doing his thing. And um it's kind of okay and I'm kind of paying attention. I'm kind of not because I'm also on the phone because I'm trying to get some computers to a school that's uh, <clears throat> got, got limited resources. So I've got, I'm kind of like multitasking. There's a sound engineer, obviously he's at the board. He's mm -hmm. trying to keep the dude serious. When he came in, he was high. So I'm a little pissed about that because of course now we're wasting money and time and you know, and all of that. <clears throat> so uh, there's a couple of people around, you know, some girls and hangers on, everybody smoking weed. Not me. I'm actually just drinking. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm also, like I said, I'm on the phone and I'm dealing with this other thing. And, <clears throat> I, you know, I, I'm just kind of irritated and, and, and I'm trying to handle business. Your irritation is only about to get worse as the door opens to the studio. And in walks a woman. Her hair falls in sheets of jet black ink around her. She is, she has like a sort of trench coat that is saucily draped over one shoulder. It looks like it's Burberry. She has knee high sort of like a patent leather boots and um, long nails kind of that are, uh, have, a, have a cigarette precariously perched between them. 
she has red lipstick and with one swift motion uh, grabs the wide brimmed hat off of her head and lays it like on, on a, a coat rack by the door. Um, her skin is cold like marble. There's something unsettling about her. Her eyes are dark like coal and there doesn't seem to be anything behind them. No warmth, no, no laughter. She looks very amused as she walks in and kind of like cracks a, a half, that same half crooked sly grin uh, that we saw outside the casino when she sees you. You recognize her. This is Zorna. Um, you've worked with her in the past, usually in your dealings with a young artist she's been trying to get you to produce, but they're not very talented. Mm. She belongs to your clan. She is a Toreador like you. Mm -hmm. So most of your dealings have been in uh, rose spaces, uh, you know, art exhibitions, uh, fashion shows. But you know of her. She has some rapport, but her arrival, especially here, seldom brings good news. Zorna, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize we booked you for studio time. We need to talk. All right, let me get off the phone. Yeah, yeah, just, you know, I want Mac. Give the kids freaking Max. Thank you, how, how hard can this be? Thank you, later. Okay, uh, you guys keep working. Should we talk in the back? Is You, you have that look on your face like- you know. Biter business. <clears throat> That's cute. Yeah, they're, they're just come in the back. Jesus mm. Christ. <sighs> All right. We're in the back. Close the door. It, it's not a great time. What, like, what's up? It seldom is. The Shade Kid. He lives here in your domain, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, I, it, it's not my turn to watch him, but yeah, yeah, he's here. What? He's messed up a bit. Might come back. Spill back on you. You know, I've got to keep an eye out for you. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. What do you mean he messed up? Oh, he staked a bruja in public and dragged her out of the front of a casino. Uh, what? Exactly. Oh, for the love of God. Why would he... Okay. Uh, you know what? He's been... I, 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 all right. Okay, I guess I need to talk to him. Oh, you're gonna have to. Yeah, a bruja. A bruja. What you bruja? Know, Why was you're a very bruja? angry types. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Um, why was a bruja even in the territory? Well, this very seldom happens. But between you and me, I think she's here working for the can, the ivory tower. And he staked her. Oh yeah. And she. There was a big old ruckus. Right. And you know me, I was playing the tables. Right. Yeah. 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 So I just happened such... to oversee the whole thing. Right. And it didn't occur to you to maybe, I don't know, intervene somehow. Like. Oh, but it's so much more fun to watch. Yeah. 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 Great. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> another mess I gotta clean with those up. Those big grand speeches of his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and his speeches. I, I never really understood any of that new age mumbo jumbo, but certainly not my thing. Um. All right, so Shade killed somebody. Maybe killed a bruja. All right. Okay. All right. I'll get Shade in here and we'll talk. Took her back to his place. Think he's staying in some hotel up north. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let me wrap things up here. 
because you know my little rap friend in here doesn't really know anything about you know kindred and masquerades and all this other stuff so let me and and we'll go to the damn hotel for fuck's mm, sake can i eat one it's one of my artists this is how i Let's make just take money. a little off the top out out wait for me outside right right she's kind of sullen but like gathers up her hat you do notice she like flashes a look at one of your artists Stop almost it. in like a entrancing fashion as she puts her hat on and steps out yeah and the rapper's probably like yo who's snow white son <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you have three tracks to do before the night's out. Knock it off. Get to work. And then I leave the studio and I follow Zorno, who I assume is taking me to this hotel. Mm -hmm. You step into her Tesla. It is immaculately clean and the interior is custom white leather. Oh, wow. Nice. Shall you know, we? there's the other little thing we've got to worry about. What's that? Oh, you don't know? Okay, look, woman. Mm. You want to get to it? What? Like, come on. Oh, you're no fun. I remember when you used to be fun. <sighs> yeah, yeah. The, that that was that was a long time ago, baby. Um, anyway, uh, while we're going through reminiscing and, and whatnot, can you please tell me what the hell you're talking about? Well, the white wolf is at your gates. Okay. So first of all, I have a truce in place and it's we been holding for years. Decades. Yeah. Pretty much wow. ever since I came to Seattle. You know they've been looking for a reason to come in on your territory. <sighs> and don't tell me. So they're going to use this shade thing on me? Is that what's going to happen? Well, that doesn't help. <laughs> Great. But it turns out some adventurous lick stole something from them and absconded here into your territory. Oh, so now I'm going to I'm going to be accused of harboring a thief unless you steal it back and give it back to them. But I've contacted a really good thief and she should be bringing someone our way. OK, you contacted a thief. Yeah, I have her steal art for me sometimes. Right. Okay. I have a Rembrandt. <laughs> She's very good. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna entertain that absurdity for a moment. Uh, cause sure, you know what? I could actually use a Banksy. Look, here's the thing. Let's she go also find. got me an actual prop from the alien set. She stole it from the Mopop. <laughs> oh, I like gosh. to put it in my hall during Halloween. Oh, that's it actually kind of cool. It scares trick-or-treaters. I bet it does. Wow. And they're okay. so much yummier when they're scared. <laughs> are you are, are you really hurting trick-or-treaters? Well, I need a treat too once in a while. All right, woman, drive the car. Can we go? <laughs> like you are like out of control <laughs> what? like it's a wonder i'm not in war because of yo ass huh yeah huh <laughs> killing trick-or-treaters i don't kill them not all the time except for that one time oh in the 90s. sweet mother of she was dressed as elvira so adorable <laughs> right because that's an excuse to to oh. hurt a kid yo Let's go. Seriously. Well, it like, wasn't like, exactly. I, a kid, I, I'm but... so. I'm, I... <laughs> I guess a kid by our reckoning. Tess, everyone's a kid, really. Okay. 
I'm glad you're enjoying this little game with semantics. So a Banksy, huh? I might know a guy. I, I was actually kind of kidding about the Banksy. I don't want anybody to steal anything. Well, maybe I do now. I, I, all right. Let, can we just get down to the nitty gritty of this, please? I mean, I, I, I like, are, are you like, if the cams are really coming, then I, and I can't have that. I, I have so much set up that you guys don't even know about that that's supposed to be benefiting the, the communities of color around here. And I've been doing this for so long, I, I, I can't have them mess this up. I can't. So we, we got to we gotta find shade, straighten him the fuck out, and then do whatever else we need to do. So please, let, let, let's just be serious. Let's stop yes. talking about hurting trick-or-treaters. And, yes. and, 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 I'll and, hurt and, Shady instead. I'll break his legs. You know, it may come to that. Whatever you need, boss. <laughs> Great. Both his kneecaps. I think I have a sledgehammer in the back seat somewhere. Okay. Um, He'll heal, eventually. I, I, I don't want to hurt Shade yet. I, 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 I do need to talk to his dumb ass. So let, let's go, let's go she do that. She does reach into the back seat. She pulls out a hammer. It's immaculate. It's the most beautiful hammer you've ever seen. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. That that that's a nice fucking hammer. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's a collector's piece. Could restored you... Viking in origin, I think. Baby girl, could we please just go, just drive of the course. car? Of course. Ah, oh, thank you. Goodness she gracious. She pulls in front of a <laughs> Red Lion Hotel, <laughs> very middle of the road. Funny, I thought he was making more money than this. <laughs> You never take a, you never, you never, in, in a situation like this, you can't go home. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fallback. <laughs> okay, Slick, whatever you say. <laughs> and she uh, inquires at the front desk about Mr. Shady. Wait, it is, it is Jacob, Sh it's Jacob Shade. Yes, Shade. Yes, Jacob but Shade. the nickname probably has Shady. stuck at some point. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the across other town, shady. a uh, we we come across a what looks to be a large like library covered in dust, with all manner of scroll books, everything everywhere. Um, in the middle of it, we find one Professor Silas. What are you doing, Silas, when we find you, and what do you look like? Um, Professor Silas is, uh, looks like he hasn't slept for as long as he's been a vampire. Just turned with dark eyes and hasn't, hasn't stopped since. Um, he's got a couple of empty coffee mugs that had coffee that he let evaporate, so they all sticky with coffee residue at the bottom. Can't drink them, but he likes the smell. Um, he is busy grading papers uh some of them are from current students some of them are still marked from the 80s or um maybe some from the 90s he's finally getting around to it they've long graduated since then but it's the principle of the matter really um he has uh, a couple of computers around the place um some are like modern some of them are the like the old Apple that, like, the computer was in the monitor and, it, like, see-through um, from, like, every, like, uh, yeah. So he's he's currently working on that. Um, he's made a small pile of papers around the desk um, that you can kind of shimmy through. Um, there's, like, a little walk path that he's made. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Give me a, give me a wits and awareness roll. Sure. And wits and awareness. Oops, that is not. Ooh, we have a crit. Not many dice, but they do work for me. But enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's someone in your study. Is... You see them before they see you. Slinking, 
just behind one of your bookcases, almost perfectly melded with the shadow. You see two dark eyes looking out at you. Um, underneath a sort of, uh, uh, it, it's it's a man bun. I tried to find a better word for it, but you know, a man bun half shaved on the bottom, mm -hmm. um, a turtleneck, the sleeves come down to his knuckles. He looks about just as tired as you. He's got Wayfarer glasses perfectly perched on his nose. And um, mm. you see him kind of like rifling through some things. Um, um, you know, it's polite to make an appointment first. He like startles, like when you, when you say this and he goes, I'm just here for my research. You recognize him as Mohit, one of your former uh. colleagues. Mohead. <clears throat> Your research. Well, I mean, it's been published for several years, so I believe that it's. You can you have stole access it. To it. I did not. I didn't steal the whole thing for my paper. Just select passages that I needed in order to complete the thesis. It was. Your study of blood alchemy is a joke. Excuse me. You heard me. A joke. Yes. Well. A joke, just like the state in which you keep your library. My library is perfectly organized, thank you very much. I know where to find everything at a moment's notice. Nobody else needs to know where it is. Well. Are you drinking Starbucks? <laughs> 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 Who does that? Why can't you support a local coffee chain? <laughs> It was convenient. He pushes his glasses Do you know how up. many places are open late at night these days? It's only Starbucks. Ugh. You are just everything wrong with the city. Next, you'll tell me you got a job at Microsoft. I just... No. I mean, I do some freelance occasionally. Ah! But... You see him, like, get angry and, like, knock your books off of one table. Excuse me. Silas is going to stand up and... Listen, if you're not here for something actually important, please remove yourself from my library. Roll your let's do <laughs> let's do your composure and intimidation. Oh yes, something that I have a ton of in both fields. Mm -hmm. Uh The dice are kind to me today. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. That's amazing, yeah. Um, he kind of, like, calms down a little bit. Barely. Now we can have a conversation like civilized people. You are a lot of things, but not civilized. What is it that I can help you with, Moed? I came here looking for... How much do you know about... How much do you know about wizards? Like... We're talking Gandalf, big beards, lightning bolts. How much do you know about them? Uh, I mean, they're a common uh, motif in many cultures. Every culture oh tends God. to have some kind of form of sorcery. I Warlock is a moniker some bestow upon my clan i suppose but like can't, if you're looking for the movie store that's a couple of blocks over oh my gosh you really are an imbecile oh, you mean actual mages wizards users <sighs> of the arcane I... how much do you know about them i almost it's not really something that's a purview of my research. Oh, then clearly I'm in the wrong place. Uh, wait, <laughs> what do you know about wizards? Nothing. Right, okay, so this hypothetical nothing about hypothetical wizards. Wiz wizards, okay, yes, okay, fine. What is it something 
important to the domain or uh <clears throat> listen i'm very sorry about past disputes that we might have had about i don't think you are actually i i'm quite contrite this is my th listen this is about as sincere as i can make my face i am very sorry that you are hurt by the actions that I took in order to make that research available to the most amount of people with, let's be honest, my better resources. <clears throat> but I am willing to make it up to you by lending you my resources in exchange for knowing, for helping you with whatever topic you're currently interested in, these wizards, mages, what have you. Why do I feel like you didn't even know they existed until now? Because I was busy thinking about other things and I, I didn't. You caught me off guard, that's all. I, I've known about wizards for, for, you know, of course, I. Of course, with my clan, I of course I would know about mages and wizards and sorcerers, warlocks. I've heard tell that someone in Seattle has gotten a hold of some type of dome, of thaumaturgy. Dome. Thaumaturgy dome. A dome, like a book. Oh, tome, tome, tome. Right, the thing we deal in? Yes, yes. Apologies. A, a tome of thaumaturgy. Uh, do you know approximately how old this might have been, or...? No. But... Well... I've heard the cam, the tower, got their hands on it, and someone stole it. And I've heard that someone has absconded with it to here. But I wanted to see if it was even real first, because I'm not really interested in chasing shadows. Oh, of course not. That's your domain. <clears throat> well. I read your pieces of Nordist literature, literature. I mean, we both know that those are nonsense. It's some, I have to make those in order for the Camarilla to continue sending me uh, stipends for my own actual research. Right, they like you. So do you know if it's true? I can certainly make some inquiries and uh, I'll find out for you. How about that? Anything that I learn, you'll be the first to know. All right, it's a deal. Excellent. Plus, you're doing business with you as always. I look forward to co writing our new paper. Co writing? But you didn't I... even know that they were. Listen, you can have you can have first listing on the on the publication. How about that? I should have the only listing on the publication. Then I will retract my resources. Why are we even publishing it? it by... <laughs> well, because other people need to. Well, no, I mean, not they don't. Of... I need to know. And so does anybody else interested in thaumaturgy? Do you really think that all types of information should be available to everyone all the time? Yes. Well, uh, th what if it falls I mean, into the wrong hands? Wrong. I'm not here to judge whether somebody's hands are ethical or unethical. They can decide once they have that information. I do abide by the masquerade, of course. We would go through, you know, our means of publishing and distribution as best we can. Maybe talk to some Nosferatu, but, uh, you know. Other than that, um, the pyramid is all encompassing. I, you see him like kind of getting angry. He's quite a bit younger than you. You'll understand in time. I, I, we all go you through. You cannot this play phase. the age card with me. You're um, like a dinosaur. I. <laughs> 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 I, 
I think I'm quite fine for my age, thank you. <laughs> Dinosaur. If you play it, you'll just basically always win. Well, that's why I play it. You Fine. Neo needs need to understand that the game is rigged from the start. You just have to work your way up. That's all. Uh, it's rigged because of people like you. And it's rigged for higher up than I am. So don't worry. You'll be in my position soon, and you'll have your own neonate trying to steal your own research that you will also quietly pluck little tidbits from. It all happens. It's all part of getting older. I would never. Ah, uh, that's what I said when I was your age. Oh, my. <sighs> now, I will make those inquiries. Where should I send the information to? How do I know that once you get your hands on it, you're not just going to turn around and give it right back to them? After all, you are a freelancer. Uh, for this, I, while I do believe in uh, freedom of publication, I think that the Camarilla works quite opposed to my own goals. So I will give it back to them once it's made available to you and everyone else first. So you will let me at least take a look at it? Yes, of course. I have no reason not to. Unless you I give me a reason not to. I it up with the Baron if you don't. I, you can take it up with the Baron. I'm sure he would love to hear your case. You still owe him, you know. Uh, hmm, yes, he well... He introduced you to Miles Davis. <laughs> Everyone and it knows was a lovely meeting. About it. <laughs> it, it, yes, well, I'll... I'll speak with the Baron and see if, if perhaps we could collaborate. I'm sure he'll have some resources that we can we can dip into. Probably a lot more than you. Probably. What was Miles Davis like? Uh, a lovely gentleman. He had um, a very colorful vocabulary. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy to have gotten to meet him firsthand. I cannot say that the feeling was mutual, but... <laughs> you know... Of course it wasn't. What do you mean for, by that? For the record, he only called you honky like three times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am not remotely surprised. Well. Well, I can't say I'm completely happy with the situation, but as long as you don't betray us, then I won't have to snitch. But I will if I have to. I will be a tattletale. I'll be that person. <laughs> This Me. Is, we're talking about Order of the Hermes. Like, I, who knows what's in that book? All right, all right. I understand its importance. I'll make sure that it, it's handled properly. I'll speak to the Baron myself in person, get it all settled. He's uh, probably not going to like that. I don't feel like he likes you very much. So everyone loves me. It's fine. It's fine. But I will require you to leave my library first. I don't... No, no offense meant, but I don't need you wandering around here unsupervised. Oh, yes, everyone loves you. I just adore you. There's a part on my heart written. My undead heart beats only for you. It just says your name right there. You'll come around in a couple of years. Let's go. <laughs> and Silas will help usher. Uh, Mohit. <laughs> Mohead, thank you. I'm so bad at names. Uh, Mohead, uh, along. The exasperated young vampire leaves with you. Uh, you do notice that he does eye like some of the tomes in your library as he does. Mm -hmm. I'll bet he does. Um, once he is he is out and um, si Professor Silas sees him off. Professor Silas is going to uh dial the the baron christian your phone begins to ring oh god <laughs> <laughs> what's this month silas <laughs> christian, what do you want uh, um well about that uh i've I've been uh, told that there might be uh, some very interesting books in the domain, perhaps. And I wanted to know if you, as the Baron, had heard anything about it. Uh, at the moment, I'm on my way to slap Shade up. 
<laughs> well so, then, uh, it, it's, uh, how, how are you calling me about books right now? I'm calling you about books because apparently it's something that the Camarilla wants, um, that it was it was stolen from them and is currently in our domain. And I just thought, you know, being the upstanding member of Bellevue, I thought that the Baron should be the first to know about this. Now, I'm addressing Zorna as he's driving. Mm -hmm. uh, she, how does you notice he know she is about talking. this? She's talking to somebody like on, she's like FaceTiming someone. Her phone is like propped up and she's very distracted driving. <laughs> what do you mean you outsourced our job? You're not allowed to outsource a job that I outsourced to you. Okay. What do you mean she'll do a good job? There's way mean? too much She's shit going on, on in this car up. right now. <laughs> oh, hey boss, what's up? So first of all, watch the road. Secondly, oh shit! <laughs> exactly. <sighs> I swear to God, I feel like that taxi just popped up out of nowhere. Anyway, I got Super Library on the phone over here talking about some missing book. It's a book. The Camarilla about to jack me for a book. To be fair, it is uh, quite a valuable book on thaumaturgy. Um, so honestly, it probably belongs to my clan over anything else. I don't to care if it's a Dead Sea Scrolls. We have to figure this out. A book. Oh, you know what, Celie? I'll call you back. Why don't you text your yeah, contact and tell her to meet us at the Red Lion? Yeah, yeah, that one. I just pulled in. I totally didn't almost kill someone pulling into the spot. I'm so bad at parallel parking, but I'm Driving telling you that taxi just popped up out of nowhere. Strong suit. Uh, 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 Can we get talk out? Talk to you later, Seely. Bye, toodles. God, <laughs> Silas, I gotta call you back. Okay. Um... Meet us at the Red Lion. Wait, um... are we supposed to? Was I supposed to tell him that? <laughs> I already hung up. I don't know if he heard it. Oh crap. Yeah, what's he goes? What's why would I bring Silas here? Well, I assume that we'll probably be redecorating the room with Mr. Shade. So then, if there's anyone else we need to kill, we might as well gather them all in the same spot. <laughs> Less work for me to do. Look, Silas is an annoying mother trucker, but I'm not trying to kill Silas. Um, I might actually need a book one of these days. Anyway, can we get in here and, and just deal with this boy real quick? I think someone named uh, Dana is going to meet us here, too. It turns out the person I sourced, outsourced our stealing job to outsourced it to another thief. <laughs> oh, what intricate webs we weave. <laughs> Yo, it's man. such a small city. It's like everyone knows everybody. <laughs> yeah, and everybody huh? knows what's going on but me. So we're doing great. Anyway, all right, so we're waiting for Dana. What, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we waiting for Dana? Are we going? I, I would actually like to go upstairs and deal with Sai. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll Jay. meet us here. Okay, fine. Do we know As you head in? upstairs, after she inquires for the room for Mr. Shay, Dana, your phone does pop up with a text message. It is the address of a Red Lion hotel. Hmm. And I will uh, respond with a winky face. <laughs> <laughs> just because I want to know. <laughs> I just want to watch her spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I said mm. after the job was over. <laughs> you just see the dot 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 like going up and down. <laughs> I watch it for a few a few rounds of the dots mm -hmm. appearing and disappearing, uh, and then I head over uh, to the Red Lion Hotel. Amazing, Mr. Shade. Just as you're about to pull the stake out of your tied up Bruja victim, you hear a knock at the door, and you hear a giggling on the other side. Should should I have brought the cattle prod or just the hammer? Do I know that voice or no? <laughs> um, she has a very particular, like, sort of a affect to her voice. So yeah, like, no, you would know of her. You've seen her around. Oh shit, 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 shit. Desmond, um, stand here near uh, our friend. 
Of course, sir. He's holding a bag of peas to his face. You're doing great. You're doing great. This is... I'm, I am trying, sir. You're I'm wonderful. doing my best. Wonderful. Okay, here we go. Um, who is it? Open the door, man. Oh. <laughs> I, I rush over, literally. To, I just, I pull it open. It's that scene where, like, totally, like, happy, bright-eyed, open the door, guilty scene behind, but not, like, wrecking, like, Baron! <laughs> Oh my, Christian! It's so good to see you. What? What are you doing here? Oh my well, God! Move out the way! Don't. <laughs> what um, the hell is this? I do. They both come in. Yeah, yeah, you see, she's got a hammer over one shoulder, polished to perfection. Zorna, charming as always. Do you want me to do it now, boss? Forget the hammer. Look at oh. me. Why is there a staked bruja? on this couch. That was what I was going to try to figure out. She attacked me at in in broad not daylight of course, but the um at my at one of my talks at the casino at the Emerald. She attacked me while people were around. She was about to break the masquerade when I heroically snuck around and ended it quickly and snuck out there to this location, which I know it's gross and I'm so sorry you're here. If I knew you were coming, this would be totally different. Heroically? Oh. Aren't we not supposed to break the masquerade, especially to 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 You're anger the Camarilla casino. in your domain? You were in a casino. You know what a casino has? Cameras. You staked a vampire. Mm -hmm. Another kindred mm -hmm. in a casino. I should whip it's his ass. It's under the news. Isn't here now. Hmm. My man. It was a pretty dumb move, Shade. All right, Zorna, let one second. I'm so sorry. Are those new shoes? That you look fantastic. Uh, listen, it was either her or me. Or did is she salvageable? Oh yes, I was just actually going to question why she attacked me. I was going to. I'm not going to keep her like this. Oh, you know why she attacked you, Shade? Don't lie to the boss, man. Why, Zorna? Why did she attack me? Yeah, well, you, you know so much. Killed. Why did she attack I didn't him? get her brother killed. Yeah, you, you got did. Her brother he literally killed? enrolled in your program and then turned up dead. Oh, I'm sorry. So everyone, the, the thousands, the tens of thousands of people that sign up for my programs, buy my tapes, VHS cassettes, they're, 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 they're all my responsibility? No, I send them on their path and then they do what they will. He said he missed the sun and you told him he could do anything. You can be a daywalker if you believe in it. And then he walked into the sun and died. Yeah, I know you didn't tell that boy no stupid shit like that. I did not say you could walk into the sun. I said You literally you could... said you you said you could do anything. That's not the same thing. I need I need people I need to believe that beings, even immortal ones, have a shred, an iota of self-preservation instinct. Otherwise, what oh my are God. they doing? Oh my God, stop. Pull the steak out of this chick now. You got it. And I, she's tied up at this point, right? Mm -hmm. I did that yeah, already. She's tied up. Yeah, she comes to life with a start like, <gasps> oh, you. She sees the Baron. She sees yeah. she's outnumbered. This Mama. got complicated. <sighs> Okay, focus on me. I know your chest is hurting. Focus yes. on me for a second. Yes. <clears throat> First of all, what are you doing in my territory? Chasing down a lead. But I made a pit stop on the way. Chasing down a lead, you made a pit stop on the way to, uh, to kill Tony Robbins over here. That is the nicest thing you've ever <laughs> said to me. Seriously, thank you. Shut up. I saw his billboard. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I, all right. I got it. He, he, I he talked his... your brother into walking <laughs> into the sun. You know, I mean, that kind of goes both ways. You, 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 your brother's kind of a stupid motherfucker. My brother if, was if, not if well. Went, uh, if he went out in the sun, knowing, I mean, come on. I, he. Th all right. But, 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 I, I, I am sorry for your loss. Now, why are you here? I'm here tracking down a lead. Something was stolen you, from you Seattle. Said, it, okay, so everything, every everybody's here for this this stolen freaking 
I, I, is this this book that I keep hearing about? As you say this, you do see two more figures appear in the doorway. Dana and the professor Silas appear on the scene. Okay. Super library and 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 okay. Who were, who are you? A uh, nice little lady in green. Sila told me to come. Oh, that must be our contact. My what? You know, like our 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 thiefy person, our thiefy thiefy. Uh, I'm Dana. I uh, a while back I got you the microphone. <gasps> oh, that's yeah. Right. Oh, I was just saying you here, Dana. I didn't recognize you. Changing you what microphone, oh, oh box man? Well, all right. Not that this is anybody's business, but this nice lady did me a real solid back in the day. She actually found, uh, well, <clears throat> it's an old Lost Loves uh, microphone. Uh, Rosie, she could sing her ass off, boy. Oh, my God. Um, anyway, y'all got me all messed up. Just bringing it back where it belonged. Why are we here? Yes, why are we all here? Uh, yes, why are you all here? From what I'm gathering... It seems like the Camarilla are about to make a move on me and they're going to do it based on the fact that somebody is in this territory and stole something they weren't supposed to steal. Now, I guess they're just going to try to hang that on me. And I don't really need that because as I have explained earlier, I've got some big picture community stuff that really I, I don't need messed up. So, what was what do we know about this book? From where? That I don't know. Uh, but I, uh, where are we stealing it back from? These are all good questions. But whoever it was, it had to be somebody with some pretty big balls. If you actually went into the ivory tower and stole anything, so perhaps, and I hope I'm not speaking out of turn. Uh, Lavinia might be able to uh, shed some light on the situation. She's always been a very bright spot and wonderful mind. I'm sure she knows exactly what's going on. Well, all you Columbo the ropes has said brain. so far is that <laughs> she's following a lead. Is there a reason she's tied up? Oh, uh, yeah, she tried to kill me. Hi, by the way, Hi. nice to meet you. Jacob Shade, pleasure. Are you sure Hi. I can't make his kneecaps? I hate that suit. It, it just it it may come to that. But... Harsh is my sensibilities. And you notice like she almost like her face almost like becomes more demonic as she says this. The white tie, the garish white, the so out of fashion cut. Uh, I know, I know. It just I... makes something in me snap. Well, that just makes me love it even more. <sighs> you see her like <laughs> bare her fangs. This seems guys, amazing. guys, guys. A little out of hand, yes. Sorry, please. No, well, what were you going to say, Professor? Oh, I was just going to offer forward the information that uh, we absolutely should interrogate uh, whoever this is. L Lavinia. Uh, Lavinia, excellent, thank you. Uh, however, I do believe that, as I was saying on the phone, um, we do have a, a couple of options. Uh, I do believe that this is a tome about thaumaturgy, so there's only a certain limited a number of people who would even know what that means or would understand the value for it, so that should narrow down our options quite a bit. Can we pretend Care for a to... moment? Oh, sorry? No, go ahead. Please. <laughs> Can we pretend for a moment that someone in this room might not know what um, uh, th thaumaturgy is for was, just a moment, just for the group? I was group. just about to get there. Uh, Thaumaturgy is quite simple. You see, it's a, well, simple might not be the right word. Uh, hmm. What I do, and what most of my clan do, is blood thaumaturgy. We, we take the blood and we convert it into different varying forms in order to create effects, um, you know, like corrosive vitae or, you know, just different things. Um, thaumaturgy is that, but without blood. We're looking for some... Hmm, to put it as the kids might say these days, some mage shit. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, oh, wow. thank you for that explanation, Professor. Oh, of course. So who um, around here has made shit? That's a good question. Normally that I think would be me, but I promise you that I haven't put my hat. I mean, Dana, if I was taking anything, uh, if I was liberating anything, you would have known about it. Um, so, uh, I guess we should ask our friend here. I should liberate you from that tie. Her hands, like, fall on it as she, like, gingerly kind of straightens it. Um, I... No objections here. It's so busy. It's, uh, it, it is. I think it helps complete the simpler outfit. You understand me, Dana. I love your style, though. It's very street chic. Guys, yes. hurting the professor is kind of like low-hanging fruit. Okay, really. Like, but the tie, boss. The tie. He, he's not exactly Russell it Crowe and Gladiator. Damage to my Leave him alone. Power. Oh, it's so ugly. Listen, I think it looks sharp, Specs. Thank you. You don't see oh, well. The hair, the branding, Mark the graphic Jacobs design of your billboard. Oh my God! Yeah, well. Horrible. Everyone's a critic. Horrible. All right, all right, all right. Stop. This, this, this is getting us nowhere. We know what the kind. I guess now that we know what kind of book we're looking for, what we need now, I guess, is to figure out who the hell took it. These are the words that hang in the air as we take our first break perfectly on time, because I am that good. Hell yeah. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love it. Excellent. I love all these vampires so much. <laughs> <laughs> We're a hot mess of a coterie. Oh, yeah. Ooh. But but let's be real. Which coterie is not a hot mess? <laughs> yeah, fair point. Oh, my gosh. Well, yes, we will be taking a short break. We will be right back. Please stand up, stretch, get a beverage, uh, use the facilities, do whatever you need to do. We'll be right back here, and we'll try to find this dang book. Uh, we'll see you in about 10? 10? Yeah, 10 sounds good. All right, thank Ten you, minutes. Will. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, which is the real Zoe? They're both very, very still. Hmm. Okay, I think I lost my pun-hating murder cat behind a group of trick-or-treaters, which gives me just enough time to catch my breath, oh, eat this piece of candy, mm, and tell you about the best place to watch all our shows ad-free. Of course, I'm talking about Nebula, our by creators for creators streaming service that's home to a ton of our favorite educational entertainers on the internet, such as Mariana's Corner, 12 Tone, and Real Engineering. Plus, you get to see exclusive Nebula originals, including some of ours, and extended cuts from fellow creators like Low Spec Gamer, who absolutely knocked it out of the park with his video on the Game Boy Pocket's development. Man, what a wild ride it was getting that thing made just so I could play Castlevania on the go more easily. And because CuriosityStream loves supporting independent creators, when you sign up for their service, you'll get access to Nebula absolutely free. And that's on top of CuriosityStream's thousands of big-budget non-fiction videos and award-winning original series curated across their gigantic learning platform. Since I've been on a Victorian literature kick lately, one doc I just finished is called Sherlock Holmes Against Conan Doyle, which takes a fascinating deep dive into the author's struggles to come to terms with the phenomenon that is Sherlock Holmes. You know what? I'll take being your sidekick over being staked any day. So how can you get access to all these sweet shows and still have enough money to stock up for trick-or-treaters? Well, just head on over to curiositystream.com slash extra credits to get a subscription to both CuriosityStream and Nebula for 26% off the regular price. That's under $15 for both services for an entire year. Not only will you be elevating your content watching game to the next level, but you'll also be helping out us here at Extra Credits in the process. Thanks a million for being so awesome. Welcome back, everybody, to 
however we're going to get out of this shit show we've gotten ourselves in. I don't want to take any more time because this is awesome and I'm having the time of my non-life right now. So I'm going to toss it right back to Jasmine so we can figure out if we can find this damn book. Yes. So your words hang in the air, Christian, with a almost uh, cuttable tension that is cut by the words of Zorna. Ooh. <laughs> Professor, you're the, you, you're the smart one. Hmm. It, it, huh. Like, do you have any idea what we're supposed to do now? Well, we do have a member of the tower here on the couch um, who I suppose your superiors didn't send you in without a single clue, did they? I'm sorry, I didn't keep track of your name. Lavinia. Lavinia, yes. I know who I'm looking for. Perfect. Then we know, well, we have the power to ascertain what she was looking for. Who has the book, Lavinia? Who did you not bother to go see because you wanted to get him so badly? that you fell off assignment. And now I'm going to take the heat for it. Talk. Give me a, let's see, give, let me, give me a, uh -oh. are you trying to, are you trying to intimidate her? <sighs> um, is that what I'm trying to do? Or trying to appeal to her good sense. Hmm. Oh. I could go for, yeah. More flies with honey, right? All right. Give me a charisma roll with persuasion. So if you if you click on the persuasion button, it'll ask you which stat to roll with, mm -hmm. and then just select charisma, and mm -hmm. should go right. And there. it it asks for a second attribute. Yep. And that's charisma. Charisma. And submit. Boom. Oh, nice. lots of successes. She, you see her demeanor kind of change. And she says, um, you're right. I, I don't want anything to happen. I, I, I would rather for a conflict to not occur between the cams and the anarchs. I, I try to maintain neutrality between both. That's half the reason I took the job. I figured if I could find Roccafort, get the book, and bring it back, then the cam wouldn't come charging in here. Roccafort? Uh, I'm starting to like this girl. All right. She's lovely. She really is. I don't know what got into her. <laughs> you see her, like, actually, she's going she's gonna to do a roll for this. As soon as you say, I actually love this girl, she's going to do a roll to see if she maintains her composure. Okay. Because at this point, she feels like you've, you've slighted her. I didn't mean to. <laughs> she fails gloriously. Um, when you say this, when you say, oh, I love this girl, she takes her foot and tries to break the leg of the chair she's sitting in. Um, May I uh, try and stop her? I am extremely quick. Um, ah, I can yes. use fleetness, I believe, for this. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. In my bed, young lady, Uh, I'm sorry, rapid reflexes. Yeah, she has a two. So you'll be moving at the same time. Um, go ahead and give me a roll for um, your dexterity and, I guess, brawl to see how quickly okay. you move here. Um, and I believe I can add... Hmm, do I need to add my... I'm not going to use that yet. Okay, dexterity and brawl. You need to beat a four. Ooh. 
of some successes. Definitely beat the four. Yeah, you yeah. see that you you catch it before everyone else does. Like time almost slows down for you in this moment. Even as far as kindred go, you mm. move faster than them. You see that she's trying to get her feet free. You see the wood snap and you immediately swoop in and do what? I grab her by the shoulders and I go, I don't think so. We're having a conversation. She stills herself a little bit. You do see there's like venom in her eyes. And uh, she says, quiet your lapdog then. Be nice. All of you. That goes double for you, Desmond. <laughs> Desmond is still holding frozen peas on his face that has been repeatedly sm smashed by Lavinia's fists. And he just says, of course, sir. Is Desmond a thrall? Uh, I mean, he's a, what was the, the technical term? The, uh, a ghoul, yes. He's yeah. a ghoul, sorry. Yeah. yeah, he knows what's up. He's a, he... So he's cool. Oh, yeah, Desmond's We great. have to kill him. No, no. I mean, All I would right. prefer not. All right. Okay. All right. I would also prefer not. To. I I have I have plenty of ghouls myself. <laughs> Just making sure we have our bases covered. He's a good chap, that one. Okay, fine. I um, do try, sir. You're doing great, buddy. Sometimes your wants are rather wanton, but I do my best to meet them. And I appreciate you never questioning when those wants get too much. My job is not to question, but just to fulfill, sir. See? Hey, hey. Good egg. Okay, now that the love affair has been <laughs> solidified. <clears throat> Lavinia, let's, let, let's try this again. Do you know who has the book? It's this, uh, this, this, uh, I think he's a Ventru. That's all I found out. I have a rough description. Rockefort, Widow's Peak, Amber Eyes. Widow's Peak? Well, I'm going yeah. after Eddie Munster? Like, what the? <sighs> okay. Tall, about six feet. Lavinia, what do you want to assist us? To assist me, since you're neutral, and I respect that. What do you want to help me get this book? I'd like to relocate here. Really? Yeah. To where? To out of Seattle. I feel like... I feel like something big is coming. Okay. Are you going to cause any problems between you and uh, Mr. Shade here? Frankly, I ain't that worried about that. Well, but... if there's not worried, then neither am I. <laughs> okay. May I remind uh, uh, everyone, I, hey. I was attacked in, 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 in public. Hmm. Okay. Gee, You're you know... about to be attacked in private. You see Zorna lift the hammer again. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, everybody lay off him for now. Lavinia, we're gonna untie, okay? We're all gonna be like little Fonzies. We're gonna be cool, right? Yes. Hey. Okay. I'll try Stop. to keep my temper in check. Okay, that's all I can ask. All right. Untire somebody. Desmond, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> comes over <laughs> and pulls out a knife. Cuts the ropes. Thank you, Desmond. Of course, my pleasure. Lavinia gets up and rubs both of her wrists. I can take you to the club where I was supposed to tail him to. All right. We're not all going to fit in this Tesla. So how are we going to do this? We could fit Mr. Shade in the trunk. Amusing, but maybe we should just call some Ubers. I have my own car, thanks. 
What do you drive, Mr. Shade? I was just looking that up because I wrote it down and I want to make <laughs> sure I get it right because it's ridiculous. Uh, where did it go? Like a uh, Ferrari or something? It's something like, yeah, it's that it's that level of ostentatious, but again, not impressive now. Um, <laughs> just the, the, the silliest 80s car, like when you made the peak level of money, I would say like... Uh, Oh, here it is. He drives. I found it. He drives a 1987 Ferrari Ferrari F40, which is just look it up. It it fits. <laughs> what color? Oh, cherry red. The dumbest, the dumbest, most ostentatious vehicle. You oh my have. god! <laughs> no. <laughs> Matt, no. <laughs> I think it fits two. I've never. No one's ever driven with. But Desmond came once. <laughs> Yes, sir. Um, One time we went on a boy's ride. It was good. Good times. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to a Ventru nightclub. I've probably been there already. Let's go. You definitely have. Sorry, right when you said that, I put a muck down. <laughs> <laughs> of all the candy to choose, I choose the caramel one. Um... As we as we leave, uh, Professor Silas is just going to tap Christian's shoulder and be like, um, "Pardon me, Baron. Do we want her to remember the deal that we've made now that we have the information?" I see no reason to be unethical about this, Professor. What are you getting at? Oh, just wanted to see if I could be of assistance. Carry on, then. Oh no, no, no! You're coming. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't handle much uh, field work these days. I'm more uh, hey, Stanley Goodspeed, I don't care. You're coming along with the rest of us. <clears throat> Let's go. Very well, Baron. Silas, it's a club. It's going to be great. Do you want to ride in the? Do you want to ride in the Ferrari? No. Come on, Desmond, ride with them. <laughs> Silas is going to come with us or with me. <sighs> Very well. Arm around you talking your ear off as we walk in the place. Mm -hmm. um, you you get a you know you feel a tap on your shoulder, Christian, as you're getting ready to leave. Um, it is your your uh, sort of assistant and co conspirator uh, uh, Zorna, and yeah. she says, "You know, boss, it might be kind of hard to get some of them in. It is a rather exclusive club." Uh, you're referring to Slade's clothes. <laughs> and the professor. All right. Well, here's a thought. They'll wait outside. Perfect. It'll just be you, me, and Lavinia. And Dana. All right. Perfect. Yeah, no, we can totally do that. Actually, you know what? Better idea. Dana can case the place from outside, since that is kind of what she does. Is there a back way in? I don't know. I would imagine. Fire uh, regulations and all that. I can case the inside, too. All right. You case the joint. We talk to the people. The two stooges, they stay in the Ferrari. Distract bounce. Why do stuff. I think they're not going to stay in the Ferrari? Uh, because you probably know my luck. Anyway, let's go. You head to the goth nightclub. In classic fashion, there is no title. It is in an old warehouse in the South Seattle district where old warehouses are very common. Um, the music is booming outside when you pull up. Uh, you would know, Christian, that the owner is actually one Tremere that you've had some, probably some business dealings with in the past. Um, your relationship isn't negative. It's more of like uh, friends that have drifted apart. Fair. Mm -hmm. um, when you pull up in the red Ferrari, 
Now, <laughs> Silas, have you been to this club before? I haven't, but I've, I've been to a lot of clubs. I am not the sort to go to clubs now. Here, we got to dress the part, right? We can't just go in. We can't go in looking like this, right? Of course not. Look at these people. They're, they're dressed phenomenally. So all you got to do is have a statement piece, okay? And luckily, I have a extra statement piece for you in the glove box. Put it on, buddy. Here we go. What's your statement piece? All right. <laughs> we no. are ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a oh, second no. pair. It's right in the glove box, man. Just for you. Oh, no. I feel like I'm watching video music box back in the day. Are we going in? <sighs> you two go ahead first. All, All right, right, let's try go this. To the bar. <laughs> My idea being you give the bouncer something to look at. Other than us. This does occur. You do see two bouncers standing outside. One is a shorter man, bald head, wearing a chain. The other is a tall woman strapping. She's wearing a black denim vest with the sleeves ripped off and shit kicking boots. Um, people are passing by them. It takes you a minute to even realize that they're bouncers because they're just kind of smoking, chatting, and drinking. And then they see the Ferrari pull up and they see Jacob Shade. And you see the woman roll her eyes, throw her cigarette on the floor, and kind of grind it with her heel as she sees you walking up. Good evening to both of you. How are you? Wait, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, uh, I, sir, do, do I, have we met before? You see the, the man just like glare at you. Is there a way, I don't, again, if this is not the rules. In goth fashion. Sp uh, you know, whatever. I have um, Auspex. Is there a way that yeah. I can sort of try to glean his name? I don't know if that's a... Um, let me see. So... I, I don't think it works like that, but if something were to... Ha like, I'm trying to focus in on, like... Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, we could even read it as I'm doing the sort of fortune teller type thing of, like, trying to... I don't know read body language, do a thing, wait for him to say a thing, get some information back, etc. The goal is for me to act like I've met him. Ah, I see, I see. Um, are you trying to use uh, premonition? Uh, yes, I think I have that, yes. Okay. Um, let's see, yeah, let's go ahead and roll for it. Go ahead and give me a resolve and auspex roll. Resolve. And also go ahead and give me a rouse check. Okay, so hold on. Let's see. Resolve. Where's Resolve on this thing? So sorry, everybody. And while we're at it, um, Jasmine, I would like mm -hmm. to use Unseen Passage. Ooh, perfect. Um, yeah. Which is my ability I'm... so that I am uh, super stealthed. I hope I'm causing a distraction for you. Functionally invisible. Mm -hmm. What was, sorry, it was Resolve and what, Jasmine? I'm so sorry. Um, It was your uh, Resolve plus your dots and aspects. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, yeah, you got two successes. And then go ahead and give me a rouse check as well to see if you get hungrier. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll just roll 1d10, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, you just roll a single die. And then what did we get? Well, just a five, so a fail. Oh, so you get hungrier. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, by default, you usually have one hunger unless you've recently uh, drained a person completely dry. So that'll bring you up to two. Okay. So let's Perfect. See. Got it. Unless you did drain a person completely dry, and then you'll be at zero. I mean, I would, I imagine that I, because again, I, I do, I don't drink out of people that don't let me, and I normally drink yes. out of bags anyway. So I probably had something on me, but it mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Whatever you'd like, I'm totally cool either way. Perfect. You so you're now at two hunger. Cool. Amazing. So you rouse your blood and uh, you you are able to glean, like you're able to like kind of use your premonition to gain insight, like just little brief flashes of, of knowledge about this person. And as you do, you glean that their name is Samuel, but they go by Sam. Sam. 
Sam, I can't, I can't actually believe it's you here. Oh my God. You see him like kind of get confused. You see the girl get kind of annoyed. Sam, do you know this wanker? Forever ago, six, like six or seven years ago, we had that night. Don't, f- come on, man. Look, I- He like legitimately looks confused. The, the, uh, what, what night? Listen, I don't, is, is she cool? Can we talk about this here? Oh, the, what, Do you, uh, I don't, I don't want. I don't want to blow up your spot, man. Roll a, <laughs> roll a manipulation, and persuasion check. Okay, here we go. This is going <laughs> great. Uh, persuasion. Incredible. Well, I picked the right person to cause a distraction. That's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> And he's like, uh, blow up my spot. I don't, I don't think I know what you're talking about. Well, that hurts. You know what? I'm not, it's fine, Sam. You know, it's fine. Mm -hmm. We're just here to see some friends. I thought we could, Silas, I'm so sorry. You look like my dad. It's weird, huh? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, he made me break character. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember partying with you ever. And it, well, that hurts. Anyway, um, uh, the best what is parties the, with him you don't remember, honestly. Oh, right. I don't need it from both sides of this, really. Uh, we're just looking to get a drink and come uh, <sighs> waste the night away. How much is the cover this evening? Are you sure this is your type of establishment? Sam. Are you sure we know each other? I am <laughs> very sure this is my type of establishment. <laughs> Silas is just trying to be as quiet and as unobtrusive mm. in the corner as possible. <laughs> yeah, as you as you try to be unobtrusive, you notice that the woman kind of like recognizes you a little bit. She pushes her hair back out of her eyes and she's like, didn't I have you in one of my UW classes? I mean, quite possibly. Did you take a intro to journalism or I mean I teach a fair number of classes um I'm I'm sorry that what what was your name I think you failed me oh uh, quite possibly I failed most students most of you aren't very good um uh, <laughs> well this is we all weirdly know each other what are, <laughs> what are the odds I, I'm, I'm just here to, to do uh, some. <laughs> can we buy? Can we? When are you guys off? Can we buy you drinks when when you're done? We're not off for a couple of hours. Sam says to you. Sam, we're going to be here for a couple of hours. That works out perfectly. You can't expect us to let these two idiots in, Sam. Especially that one. He's very proud of having failed me. I did very well on my final paper, I'll have you know. Silas, is that true? I, I fail a lot of people. I don't... I, I'm i sorry, what was your name? Maria. Do you remember it Maria? Still doesn't ring a bell. Not at all. Um... um <sighs> Maria. Yes, I, I do... I believe that your, your final paper... Well... Your uh, your work ethic in class was uh, your your final paper was in fact quite good. Uh, so you know you seem to be doing quite well for yourself. Um, b- bouncing, bouncing. Yes. Can we get in now? I... We exchange money and then go in. I need to do a report on <clears throat> the nightlife of Seattle. This isn't that type of club. There's a list. Oh, list. All right. Well, um. So it's uh, it's Jacob Shade and uh, Silas, um, uh, oh, Professor Silas. That were yeah. I, I do have a last name. Um. Oh, it's unfortunate. You're both not on the list. Mm, tough hmm. that. Yeah. 
Well, Sam, that's totally fine. Listen, buddy, we can just hang out out here for the evening and just kind of catch up on everything, you know? Like, it's been a while. Yeah. I mean, I have a yeah, ton to talk about. Do you remember when we went, he just goes off uh, like he's just yeah. yammering, yeah. holding up the line. The distraction works. <laughs> the rest of you are able to slip past <laughs> undetected. <laughs> <laughs> you come into the club. It is designed like a hospital on the inside, because of course it would be. There are uh, people dressed like uh, nurses uh, dancing in cages, and um, that's like kind of the Halloween theme of the night. Mm -hmm. The bloodbath. The right. style music is playing, because of course it's me, and it's got to be playing. Mm hmm. Interesting joint he's got here. Yeah, you wouldn't know the proprietor to be Marshall. Although he normally goes by Marsh. Yeah, Marsh was always uh, had a flair for the dramatic. Let me see. All right, let's get... Where, where the hell is this dude? Let me try to bartender. Hey, yeah. mm -hmm. how you doing? This woman turns around. She has white hair slicked back to match like a super pale face as well. Her eyes are like a crystalline blue and she is wearing um, kind of like a semi see-through latex dress with uh, uh, a bodysuit on underneath. Mm. Hey. Uh, what can I get you for? Can I get a Casamigas Neat? And can you let Marsh know Christian Brookwater is here. You see a recognition fall over her off, over her face at the mention of your name, and she says, uh, of course, sir. Thank you. She pours you your tequila. Yeah, of course, uh, can I get the ladies here whatever they want? What do you have? Lavinia? She looks at you, Dana. Oh, I'm hidden. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, I'm hidden. Yes, I forgot. Yes, 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 I forgot. He's not there. It's mm -hmm. just me, Zorna, and Lavinia, I think. Okay, yeah. Lavinia yeah. Uh, says, uh, uh, do you guys have beer? And, you know, she gets like a tall porter. And Zorna's like, I would like one of those drinks with a umbrella on it or some type of embellishment. Oh, that's a syringe. Okay. <laughs> I love that for me at this time. Yes. I think this is a jello shot. <laughs> Took you more as a more low girl, but whatever. I hate this. I hate this place if I'm being honest with you. All right. Well, we won't be here too long, hopefully. Just take Good, it easy. Because I hate it here. Okay. We heard that you hate it here. Your Calm office down. is so much better. I know. That's why it's my office. Let's just wait till Marshall gets here and we'll have us a little chat. Meanwhile, Dana, you are completely unseen. What do you do with your sort of invisibility, as it were? I'm going to scout around looking for someone who matches the description we got for Rockford. Um, Perfect. Looking for a, a tall. We got the description was he was very tall. Mm -hmm. Um. What else did we get about him? Um, oh, I'm not there. Sorry, excuse me. Oh. Um, this is this is just me oh. needing a refresher on it. it. Widow's Peak and Amber Eyes. Oh, right. Right. Eddie Munster. Eddie Munster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. looking for someone who seems to match that description or anyone who's talking about him, you know, that just kind of getting a sense of who's around, what they're talking about getting the vibe of the place give me an give me an intelligence and awareness roll okay so that's three and oh perfect Oh, and a and some but it doesn't matter because it's not um, a crit. 
so it should be fine. So, yeah, you you notice like uh, someone of the brief description that like you kind of noticed earlier slip into a back room as the door opens and another gentleman comes out. Okay. He's wearing a leather blazer uh, with a black shirt underneath, tucked into high-waisted pants. He has a slim build, but he's kind of muscular. Uh, can I sneak into that room? Um, yeah, if you're fast enough, give me a, give me a dexterity and... Let's see. Um, athletic. I will add my fleetness to this to speed this up. Perfect. Um, so that will allow me to add my celerity to my dexterity and athletics. Mm -hmm. You are going to have to do a rouse check as you activate your Vitae to become supernaturally fast. Mm -hmm. And I'm rolling my rouse right now as well. You don't get hungrier this time. So your body, you feel like your Vitae kind of activate. And you feel your undead flesh kind of become lighter, faster, stronger than normal. Even a little bit of color rises in your otherwise very pale cheeks. And you are able to move almost like a whisper just before the door closes in behind Roccafort. I As wouldn't Marsh attempt it if I didn't know I could get through. Yeah. Just as Marsh walks out, uh, he's got a sweet fade and alligator shoes. He comes over and sits next to you at the bar, Christian. Marsh, my man. Christian, he gives you depth. <laughs> What's good? You know, working hard, hardly working. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting motif tonight, man. Um... Kids like it. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do, right? Entertain these folks. Easiest way to blend in is hiding in plain sight, but you already knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen. Um. Oh, by the way, this is Lavinia. Zorna. Hi, Zorna. I'm, oh, I know her. You see Zorna giggle. You get the sense maybe something has happened between them. Hi, Marshy. Okay. Um, <laughs> so check this out, man. I'm, this isn't I'm, awkward at all. No, it's not. I like these shots in the syringe. Very um, <laughs> festive. Yeah. Great observations, Zorda. Marshall, I'm hearing some shit about <clears throat> my truce not being uh, respected. Uh, I was wondering if you heard anything about that, seeing as how, you know, you're a little more connected with the tower than I am. I figured I'd come talk to you, you know, since we're friends and all. I know it's been a while since we hung out or did anything uh, mutually beneficial. But uh, I would I would think that, you know, with our history and everything, if you heard some shit was going down, you might have hit me with like a warning. Give me a charisma and insight check. Do, 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 do. Let's see. So that's charisma. Oh, that's a very good roll. Yeah. You see, Damn. perhaps that's six. His face, including a kind print. of change. You are able to kind of read him like a book. Okay. Um, with this, with this high of a role, you recall how close you were when you were younger. Um, maybe you even went into business together a couple of times, and your careers just went different ways. Um, he wanted to move up in the Seattle Camarilla. And um, you wanted more so to help your community. He had a different idea of how to make that happen. 
Mm -hmm. um, and he felt more like he had to enrich himself and gain more influence for himself first. One of those situations of, you know, getting it down by any means necessary. Um, you see, like, uh, you're able to read him really well. You see this, like, flash kind of move across his face and then disappear almost immediately. And you know that he does know exactly what you're talking about. Um, but he tries to be evasive, uh, almost like he's scared. Yeah, with a six, you would be able to read that. You, you, you were able to read it to a T, and he's like, uh, he kind of like looks around almost shiftily for like half a second before he's like, I don't see why the piece wouldn't hold. Well, that's not what I'm hearing. And look, we got history, most of it good. You went your way. I wasn't mad at you. Come on, man. You know what I'm doing out here and you know it's needed. So come on, man, give me something. There, there, I've heard, I've heard rumblings. I've heard well, rumors. All right, well, first of all, why are they coming after me? They want, they want your territory. Look, they got every goddamn thing else. Now they, they, they just want everything? That's kind of how they operate. Well, I'll tell you what. Sounds to me like if I just find this damn book, then they can't pin that, make that my responsibility. However, they were getting ready to make it my responsibility. Oh, it's in the black dude's territory. So, you know, I just, that's how we just gonna play that. No, 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 son. I need the book. Do you know where the book is? Let's go there. Yeah. Uh, dude came in today. Said he had it. Rockfort? Came here? How do you know his name? Look, man, you, you ain't the only one with resources. So you saying this dude is here? Yeah, he uh, passed it off. He said... I was just supposed to be neutral territory for the ground, for the, for the exchange to go down you know i didn't know that this would fall back on you in any way i just neutral got territory but they fucking me up i didn't know that going into it marsh my man where's the book i don't know if he still has it he's in the back well Zorna, looks like you're going to maybe get to use your hammer after all. In the back, huh? Show me, please. Yeah, of course you're going to deuce myself. He leads you to the back. Meanwhile, in the back, Dana, you follow the man with the startling widow's peak. You are in the sort of this is like the almost like the loading bay of the warehouse. Um, uh, you see that there's like people kind of trucking in um, uh, kegs, uh, crates of liquor, um, glasses, and things like that. Uh, these are what we would call disgruntled caterers and workers, and very stark contrast under the fluorescent lights to the scene that is in the front of the warehouse. Um, you notice that he kind of is making a beeline towards the open shutters at the shutters at the back of the warehouse. What do you do? I'll follow. Perfect. At the front, Sam has become rather weary of talking to the two of you. So there we were. We were on Pike Street. I know why would we be on Pike Street, but there we were. It was <laughs> it was absolutely insane. And you know what? I, I just really insane. feel like I don't think that I don't I don't remember any of this ever happening. That's so that's so shocking. I mean, I even feel like your your compatriot here is so moved that they really do want to let us in. And I'm going to try to use mesmerize. Ooh, on, yeah, on, not on nice. Sam, on, on the partner. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Roll for it, Maria. Yeah, yeah Maria, go ahead so and do a rouse check. Oh. You might get hungrier doing this. Actually, Dana, where's that button? I saw you hit it. The for rouse. 
Jen. Oh, I you click the just the basic D10 that's right up at the oh. top of the character sheet. It'll ask Great. you the name of the roll, and you just type Rouse. Oh, that's you roll my dice. I love it. Admit. We're learning. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> that's not good at all. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's what we call a, a failure. You get oh, hungrier. How many? Yeah. Um, let me actually let me see. Do you, does that affect? I don't you? think I don't think ones matter on a rouse check. Um, I don't think dramatic failures happen on a rouse. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't do anything. It would on a on a normal one that would be like what we call a bestial failure. Okay. But um, in this case, I think it's just uh, yeah, you just get hungrier. You get one hungrier. All right, um, I'm getting quite peckish. Uh, and now, sorry, what was I rolling for? Um, mesmerize. Um, for mesmerize, you're going to roll. Let me look at my little cheat sheet here. You're gonna roll manipulation and dominate. Thank you. Manipulation none plus two. Shared, uh, I think a hunger of three now. Yep. Damn. Ooh. Yeah, not doing great. Not doing great out here in the front of the club. Mm hmm. Um, actually, no, 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 you are. Oh, what did I roll? Maybe I'm reading this wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You rolled, uh, you rolled four successes. Oh. Mm hmm. Well, now, then, great. This would have gone <laughs> very horribly if you had rolled two criticals. Because when you roll a crit on your hunger die, which most of your die are now hunger die because you're so hungry, that becomes what we call a messy critical. Oh, and no. that means um, sometimes bad things happen when you roll messy critical. But thankfully, you only rolled... Look at how excited Arthur is. But you didn't, you didn't roll a crit because crits only occur in pairs, from my okay. understanding. Um uh, let, me let me double check. I, yeah, sure. I, th I, think sure. it, I think it should be fine. I trust you and Arthur completely. Arthur, right? Like it, it would. I, I believe two. that's. I believe the critical I'm, I'm only happens if there's you. a pair. If there's two, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The same thing with the failure only happens if there's if there's no successes and only one. And the skull. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, you, you don't worry. You got you got through this, Matt. Um, <laughs> it works. As soon as you take off your eyes and say, or take off your glasses, take off your eyes. That would be creepy. As soon as you take off your glasses and say this, you hear her say, "Of course, yes. Uh, why wouldn't I?" Come right in. Sam, I'm going to catch up with you when you're off in a couple hours. Silas, let's go, buddy. Uh, and Silas you just bamboozle gonna... him. <laughs> <laughs> Walk past with a little nod to Maria. And then as soon as they're like out of earshot, I don't regret failing her. She deserved that. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, we'll slide up to the, oh, I'll, I'll lead anyway, Are you, if you're coming with. Um, oh, I'm coming with, but I have no idea where we're going. Sure. I haven't been in a nightclub in years. I try decades. to be on where the Baron is, and I want to be in that entourage. <laughs> you see the Baron in like a V formation with uh, Zorna, Lavinia, and Marsh. Like they all like are kind of cutting through the crowd like butter. Um, they look completely at home in this place. And then the two of you come stop. <laughs> You you see this, <laughs> Christian, <laughs> and you also see um, people dancing in the club, being like, "Uh, what are you two doing?" Oh, we just got in. Uh, we're what? What are you doing? You know what? Go get a drink, fellas. You hear that, Silas? We have a job. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we've been, I see. And the only reason I do that, the only reason I do that is because I want people to be paying less attention to me mm -hmm. and more attention to them. The bartender so. with the slicked back white hair turns around and looks at you like someone has shit on her bar. <laughs> uh, Hi. Good evening. Uh, what do you drink at Silas? Oh, um, hmm. A, a great question. What What are the options for this evening? 
um, <laughs> we, ha- um, it's the shelf behind me. Great, great. I'll have a martini dry, hacked and whipped, not like one of those shaken or stirred sissy drinks. That would be phenomenal. Thank you so much. He'll have the same. Hacked and whipped. You see her pull out her iPhone and like type that in. What does that even mean? As she turns around to start to make your drink, utterly bewildered at your presence here. You hear her keep muttering it as she's like starting to make it hacked and I I whispered to Cyrus, that's not a thing. (laughs) I mean, I was just going to order a Long Island. They seem quite busy right now. Um, Meanwhile, Dana, you see the man in front of you kind of like uh, make a sharp turn to like leave where the shutters are open, um, kind of into the loading bay of this warehouse. Uh, he he quickly walks towards a, a black sedan, um, unlocks it with a beep, and slips inside, closing the door behind him. Um, is Christian on the loading dock now? No, he was. He's just he entered did. like the back door. Mm-hmm. The back. You area. have a bit of a head start because you've been tailing him a lot longer. I'm going to uh, try and memorize the license plate. Perfect. Yeah, you're able to memorize it perfectly as the car drives off. Okay. And I didn't see him talking to anyone. I didn't see him dropping anything or picking anything up. It was just straight to the car. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to head back to the group. And I pull a pen out of my pocket and I write the the plate down and Mm -hmm. I tuck it away. Dana approaches Christian and the others um, in the now, like, sort of, like, uh, it's still bustling, but Rockefortless uh, bloating bay. Um, and I'm still not making myself visible, but I can whisper in this without breaking my, uh, my hiding. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll whisper in Christian's ear, they just left. I have their plates. We can track. Okay. The book isn't here, is it? I haven't seen anything that looks like it would be a place for the book, right? It seems like give where me they might... a give me a um wits and investigation check. Just for like how well you observed everything before you before you started tailing him. Ooh. So that's a, that's a crit. Ooh. You do remember him walking from another location to that back door, the bathroom specifically. It occurs to you okay. that that would have been a place for him to stow something before going into the back. But in the route you followed him on, you you don't see there being any place for him to hide something. Okay. There might be something in the bathroom. I, I That's the only place I could have seen him hiding anything that wasn't out Thank in you, the Dana. Open. I'll look. All right, so I guess I'm searching the bathroom. Yeah. Um, you go to the bathroom. Uh, you hear someone sick in the stall, in one of the stalls. And then in the two other stalls, do you, you, do you go and, like, search? Mm-hmm. You do find a bundle wrapped carefully and tucked behind the tank of one of the toilets. Unpleasant, but okay. Hmm. Guess I'll open it. When you remove the wrappings, you see it's like in a locked case with like a dial on the front that has letters and numbers. 
Hmm. All right. Is this it? I don't know, boss. I think so. Maybe. Huh. All right. Let me take this back to the professor. Since he's the one that has some idea what this book is about. I sent them to the bar, right? Yeah. All right. Let's drill back to the bar. Dana, can you track the car? Um, not from, I mean, uh, do I have any sort of take Slade's car? Source? Well, uh, they, they're gone. I don't think we can follow them. We have their plates. I mean, you have a description of a car. You could catch up with them in a Ferrari if you so wished. Okay. <laughs> um, do I get to see the book and the situation there? Yeah, if you're following by oh, the, 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 yeah, the locked, the locked mm-hmm. chest, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want that open? Um, If you can. Yeah, I can. Um, is it a pickable lock? I am lock? so happy you if are here. If not, mm-hmm. I have another way to get at this. Um, you could... Uh, depends. So how... It's it's like one of those... Um, the word escapes me now. It's a combination, combination. lock. Yes, thank yeah. you. It's a combination lock. Hmm. I mean, you could attempt to hear with your preternatural senses to see if you could hear some clicking or something like that. You are adept at this sort of thing. Heightened senses, but um, what I can do is, if uh, can we have? Hey, Jacob, why don't you just go start talking to people? You know, I am kind of (laughs) hungry. Silas, are you you hungry? You do notice that Jacob looks a little peaky. Oh hell. I cannot say that I, I am. I. I mean, at this bar, can you get a, a Bloody Mary? You know, Is that's that a great kind of question. Place? Can we get a Bloody Mary? You ask this to the bartender. Well, no, I'm just, I'm wondering. This is this a kindred bar or is this? Ah. Well, Marsh is Marsh is kindred. Marsh is kindred. Yes. It would make sense. I just pick. I pick the edge, like just as I'm waiting. Mm-hmm. You see, like Marsh, kind of like, uh, n- like look at you, like a little uh, nervously, Christian, and say, uh, n- "No feeding allowed in the bar." God damn it! <clears throat> so right. no bloody Marys then. Well, no, no bloody Marys. The bartender's still like hacked and. Where? You'll find it. You'll find it. It's there. It, it's <laughs> deep. Right. It's like on the third page of Google. I know no one looks there. It's there. Marsh, help me out here. There's got to be somebody in this place you don't like. He, like, looks around and he's like, uh, there's a, there's a dude smoking outside that causes trouble from time to time. I wouldn't miss him. See, Marsh, man, this is like the gold days. And nothing's going to happen to him. In fact, I'm going to make Bring it out of me, you know? I'm going to make his life better. Nobody worry about anything. I'm friends with the bouncers. This is going to go great. Okay, let's get Marlboro Man in the back somewhere. Jacob and he can have some quality time, and then we can get back on focus. Just can you can you keep eyes off of me for a few oh, seconds? Oh, yeah. That's all I need is oh. just, just go talk to people. Please. All right. I can't believe I'm asking you for this, but please, will you just go talk to some people? Dana, I know we haven't met before, but this, this is what I do. And I walk into the center of the dance floor and I'm just like, okay. And I start like almost trying to like doing the thing that is the uncomfortable, terrible attention seeker dude dance that's like, wants nothing to do with anyone but him, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Like, no, no, like, trying to vibe with the thing. Like, he is now dancing to whatever drummer that he is uh, making up in his mind. Right. He is making a scene. And if people look at him, 
he'll call them over and like try to interact with them. And it probably won't go well, but all eyes on on Jacob Shea. <laughs> yeah, um, give me a charisma and performance roll. All right, here we go. Every wedding I've ever been at. Okay, hold on. That's good? Is that good? <laughs> no. Oh no! <laughs> this is what we call a bestial crit. Here we go. <sighs> oh, oh, Jacob. Oh, Jacob. This is, uh, you feel like a, like a, like as you are about to go out onto the, onto the, onto the field, you hear your sire's voice in your head. It's horrible. It reminds you of all the things that are wrong with you. You can't dance with these people. Jacob, you're such a bad dancer. You're such a failure, Jacob. You're not even good enough to be here. You shouldn't be at this club, Jacob. You've lied to get everywhere in your life. You're an imposter. And the word imposter just reverberates in your head. Like you, if you hear like your ears ringing. You're such an imposter. All the people you hang out with are cooler than you. All the people you hang out with are more successful than you. They're better than you. The Ferrari just compensates for what a failure you are. Drink, like, smack, like, whatever was handed to me mm -hmm. will sort of just, like, in the hand. Like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I do believe we have our scene. Yeah, the glass shatters and people turn to look as it crunches on the floor. And the display we see from Jacob is not the dance that he was trying to do, but something a bit more like sort of uh, grotesque. Your, your ability to mesmerize and kind of awe kind of activates and your psychosis kind of comes off you in waves in a way. Like you have this like magnetism where people can't look away, but it's not because you're charismatic. It's because you are, it's like watching a train wreck. There's like a, yeah, exactly. There's like a craziness in your eyes, like a crazed look um, where people don't exactly know what's going on behind this like veneer of happiness. Why isn't everyone dancing? <laughs> Dance. <laughs> do I you... need to do something here? Yeah, there's like a mass hysteria. Like you you are able to like channel into latent powers, especially with your kind of um your set of abilities that you didn't even know you had. And a kind of like mass hysteria starts to take place as, as people begin to like dance kind of against their will. You get hungrier as a consequence. All right. Oof. Oh boy. Wait, you I'm are at hungry the, or he No, is. no, me. He's oh, hungrier. Okay. Yeah. Christian, what do you do? Oh, how do I? Oh, fuck. Um, well, I can't have him tear up Marshall's club. But what do I do? What do yeah, I do? Marsh kind of nudges and he goes, Christian. Hang on, man. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Would. Well, oh. I'm thinking. May I, maybe I just got to pick him up and carry him the hell out of this club. As you walk towards him, give me a, let's see here. Give me a dexterity and. Oh, great. Um, let me think. I guess it would be streetwise roll. All right. Actually, who's holding the box? Oh yeah, I got. I am it. right now. 
Oh, you are? Okay, okay. Because Yeah, because I was going to do a thing while while there was a distraction. All right. That's well, right. Dane is, is unlocking the book. Mm-hmm, perfect. And, yeah. Okay, so streetwise dexterity. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that good or bad? Um, it's decently good. You see someone like, someone like is like, they they stand out because everyone else is kind of vibing in this club. There are some people that are kind of being drawn in by this weird hypnotism mm-hmm. that Jacob is using. Right. Um, <clears throat> but you see someone out of the corner of your eye walking with purpose. They bump into you a little bit as they walk past you and they seem to be heading towards Dana. Dana, are you still unseen? I'm still unseen. They're heading towards the bathroom, like with purpose. It stands out to you. Okay. Because you are, you have enough street smarts to understand that like, this person is not here to party. They're here to acquire something. Wow. So I got a choice. I have to, I have to stop Shade's craziness, but it also looks like Dana's about to get jumped. Wow. Okay. Look. You know she's unseen, but you also know she's trying to figure out the mechanisms to the lock. She's probably unseen. right outside the bathroom or inside the bathroom, Dana. She's unseen, but she's the I mission. thought we were close to the bar. Oh, we were trying to open it near the bar? Yeah, but if, if things are going south, mm-hmm. I will just pocket it and GTFO. Okay, yeah. Yeah. If that's what's necessary, I'll I'll tuck it inside my inside my jacket. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and get out as quickly as possible. I'll, right. I'll use my speed to, to get the heck out. Yeah. All right, then I'll work on Shade. You start to head over to Shade. Silas, would you like to do anything here? Uh, yes. Um, seeing that Shade is uh, behaving erratically, uh, Silas is going to try to approach and... Uh, no, 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 no. Everything is fine. And Silas is going to, like, like kind of hold Shade's head for uh, eye contact and cloud memory. Whatever is happening, it didn't happen. Whatever triggered this, don't worry. It never Whoa. happened. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Um, this is free, so just go ahead and roll your charisma and dominate. Um, okay. Jacob, you're going to be rolling your wits and resolve. Oh, I have to roll against it? Mm-hmm. Boo. <laughs> All right. Kindred are a little bit more resistant <laughs> to cloud memory than uh, than than normal normal people are. Uh. Well that's a failure on my part with the skeleton. Why did I roll good now? Shit. Yeah. As his hands like, you know, kind of Didn't we have willpower things, to burn? Oh yeah, you could use a willpower to add a die to your pool. Uh, would that be I enough will. to turn the Oh wait, who? Sorry. Um that would be for Arthur. Oh. Uh you would have to burn quite a bit to beat cuz you'd want to you'd want to meet a 3 since you are the kindred in action. Um if you meet it, you beat it. So if you want to will... burn to willpower, you could. I will burn 3 just <laughs> to be extra sure. Fair. My it's a man. one shot. You don't need to save them. That's right. Uh, I'll call this willpower. Oh, that's oops. Uh, I'm just going to pick something that I have three in. It's going to say wits. That's not okay, what I'm actually fine. rolling. Mm-hmm. But oh, ha! Huh, the same roll. How about that? <laughs> I appreciate yeah. you're trying, Jacob. <laughs> oh. This guy's talking down to us. He thinks he can just, what, get in here and tell us what to do? He thinks he's smarter than us. He doesn't even see us as an equal. Silas, if you didn't come here to dance, get the fuck off the floor. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, God. Uh, 
god, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, now that he's focused on yeah. Silas. Yep. I'm a distraction. <laughs> And I just come in and knock him unconscious and carry him the hell out. Yeah, you could you could definitely do that. Silas, Thank you, you at this point are so like in your own mind, you see your sire dancing around the dance floor, singing, You can dance if you want to. <laughs> you see her like moving in in between the crowds, and it just makes you even more committed to this bit. <sighs> Whatever it is, we can figure it out together. While he's coming over, I'll grab mm -hmm. Silas's arm probably too hard to like start mm -hmm. like twirling him. Like again, this is all weirdly like, I want to dance now, but it's not mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll happen right probably before uh, Christian comes over and hopefully knocks me the hell out. But uh, yeah. 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 Um. Christian, you're going to get a, a, a bonus to your pool because this is, you know, uh, uh, Silas has kind of opened you up here. Um, okay. Go ahead and roll your strength and brawl. Okay. And then when it asks for bonus die, go ahead and add one. Somebody, to quote the mask, somebody stop me. <laughs> Yeah, this is verging on masquerade breach. You see, some people are dancing and crying. Oh, shit. Yeah, right. there are people like dancing and like sobbing. Oh boy. It looks like he did good though. Oh goodness. Um. Yeah. Do you just like cold cock him? Pretty much. You right back in the head. You take three superficial damage. Okay. Jacob and uh, smack you get cracked on the back of the head and fall to the floor. It snaps you a bit out of your, this trance you were in. And as you hear like an exclamation from the bathroom and the sound of like ceramic cracking as it's smashed against the wall, Dana slips out like a shadow, unseen with the package in hand. I will text Christian Mm -hmm. a location to meet. Thank you, Dana. Am I unconscious or no? Uh, no, you got, you were like, you hit the floor, but you're not unconscious. Okay. It but hurts. I'm knocked out of whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of like come to your senses a bit. You don't see your sire anymore. You don't hear her in your head anymore. Are well, you all right, Jacob? Silas, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, it's all right. Uh, let's get you back up. There are your glasses. Um, oh. There's like a, a, a weird welt on your forearms uh, from Silas from where you were gripped. Almost like the equivalent of a undead bruise. I am so sorry. It's all right. Sometimes... Sometimes it's not, um... Sometimes it's not okay, you know? Certainly. Let's let's have this conversation outside. Christian. Yeah, that's a great idea, Professor. Two I am so you. sorry. Um, Get yeah. outside! Yeah, I go. Yeah, Silas will... Dorna will... is, like, half dragging you out by the lapel. Marsh seems upset, Christian. Marsh is like, oh, you gotta get him out of here. I'll try to, I'll try to talk to some people, pay some people off, try to hush this up. This could be bad. I think we drew a lot of attention to ourselves today. I'm, I'm sorry, Marsh, man. Look, it's all right, man. I know it wasn't you. Oh, it's of me. Listen, if you need the footage tampered with, please let me know. I we probably will. Get will. To that. Thanks, Professor. All right, Marsh. I'm out of here. I got a territory to save. Good luck, man. Peace, man. All right. Now that I got these two back outside, 
You get Tana's text. I got Zorna, I got Lavinia. Now we're all just kind of standing in front of the club. Yeah. And it's I'm, like that end of the night club scene where the squad is a hot mess a little bit. Zorna is kind of roughing up Shade a little. <laughs> She's got him by like the the like lapels of his jacket. She's just like, what are you doing? Embarrassing the boss like that. I'm so I'm so sorry. Sam, I'm so sorry. Sam, I'm so sorry. Don't that. talk to Sam. And she's like dragging you past. You see, like she's taken this as an excuse to like grab your tie and kind of ruin it a little. <laughs> she fine, gets like have, a sick pleasure out of it. I have like 30 of these and it's fine. It's fine. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Dana just hit me with another address. Now, under other circumstances, I would tell you two to go home. I'd probably tell everybody to go home. But I don't know what I'm getting myself into. So, once again, whole team. Certainly. You need to verify whether the thing is legit, yes? And yes, and I definitely need you there for that, Professor. Um, si Shade. Silas, if you, um, I know I've, I've done a lot um, this evening, um, but I'm not in a particular good place to drive. And I like hold up the keys to the Ferrari to Silas. Can't be that difficult. I almost want the video of this. All right, everybody, let's go. Right away, boss. <laughs> So the address I've given is uh, to a small basement apartment that is my haven. Um, so uh, there's a kind of brownstone building and it's down underneath. There's a, a side entrance uh, where you go downstairs down a short hallway and then there is a, a, a small apartment, basic furnishings, uh, nothing fancy. Yeah. But it's mine. All right. I'm so sorry to do this to you, Professor Elridge. Give me a dexterity and drive roll. <laughs> oh, well, no. Jacob is the gift that keeps on giving. I do have dexterity. I do not have drive. Mm -hmm. How hard can a Ferrari be? <laughs> See, it's not that difficult. Uh, it's is fine. That a bestial crit. <laughs> This is fine. <laughs> I can drive. Oh my goodness. Um Yeah, you you drive like a madman. Oh yes. Like the car comes screeching in, leaving like these like tire burning rubber marks behind. You drive like a bat out of hell cuz you I, are a bat out of hell. A gas what pedal music is, is a binary, blaring on the right? radio? <laughs> Oh, gas is either on or it's off. There's no in between. <laughs> the, the music on the radio is kickstart my heart. Uh... <laughs> and it's yeah, Ferris you... Bueller the entire time. <laughs> just go for Silas the... tries to turn it off, but ends up just cranking it and like doesn't bother to fix it. Yeah. You create a huge scene as you come screeching into the parking lot of this of this small brownstone apartment. You show up like <laughs> 10 minutes before Christian pulls in. Christian, you see them on the freeway just making a huge scene as they roar past in this bright red Ferrari driving, ducking <laughs> in between cars with a with a with a like almost like a like a like a professional driver. Um and you, you, like it, they cut in between traffic. You see people honk at them, stop at them. And you see Zorna just like roll her eyes as they cut you off and then speed up bursting in front of you. I I I don't even know. I I probably should have let you beat the hell out of them. Cause like, what the hell is this? They're troublemakers. Uh, yeah. Look, he just flipped off a cop and kept going. You see the oh. sirens go on and then they peel out and leave the cops in their dust <laughs> as they race. <laughs> cops aren't even bothering to go after him because it's a Ferrari. Look at that. that that's just, that's bananas. I, I Silas, you're a natural. I, 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 um, I knew it couldn't be that difficult. <laughs> my, my head is really starting to hurt. Like When you pull into the parking lot, 
all you smell is burning rubber. The car is cool. It's been there for so long. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. Let's get in, Danis. Zorna, like, looks incredibly annoyed with both of you. Way to make a scene back there. Listen, Zorna, next time you're going to have to beat Silas's time. So just clock that. Keep it How inside. How about next time I just beat you? It's exhilarating. I've never driven Christian before. Christian gave me permission, by the way. He's having a great time, Zorna. I think I think I flipped off a cop. He did. You did. You did. You did. I've never felt so alive. Listen, this is... <laughs> You know what? After the club's been great, I I hate to interrupt the sound of music happening here right now. But can we figure out what is is in this book? Is this the book? And if that's the case, then I need to take this to these people so they can stop this BS, and I can protect my territory. Professor, get off your freaking Mario Andretti fucking high thing and figure out this book now. Uh, yes, right away, Barrett. Um, we so we, when we you knock on the door of your apartment, Dana, and uh, I open the door and I say, "Please come in. Be so well nice behaved." You to, uh, that invitation invited. only lasts if you. By the way, subtle with the car. Uh, I could only hear you, you know, that was them, four not miles me. away. That was us, not her. I'm so uh, sorry. I'm not I sorry, I appreciate though. you inviting us to your haven. It's really rare for, you know, Kendra to do that. It shows vulnerability and trust. Wow, you need an interior decorator. I'd be more yeah, than happy to not help. not hear that much. Uh, there might be some something to eat in the fridge for those who might be hungry. Dana, uh, if that would be absolutely lovely. I would be happy to give you as many courses as you need in repayment. I appreciate that offer. Um, so the book is on a small, uh, like a TV stand table, um, mm-hmm. and the lock is corroded through. No. Um, while while uh, while I had the time, I used corrosive vitae on it to burn through it. Nice. I am so So happy the lock is Dana. ready to go. <laughs> uh, professor, right. I think this is your your area of expertise. Yeah, professor, so, hit it. Uh, who does this belong to officially? Like will we know when we look at this where this comes from, who it, who it actually belongs to? Possibly. Um, I have to take a look at it first, but uh, I admit uh, straight thaumaturgy is not my area of expertise. Uh, well, you were the only one who knew the damn word, so you know what? <laughs> I'll do it. my best. Um, and the professor will carefully open the, the box to see what's inside. You open the box. As you do, a ward flashes. You feel your hands sear with pain. For a moment, you do see a worn leather cover, almost like it's made out of some type of hide in which are inscribed many runes. Oh. You do take some aggravated damage from the wards that were on the box, but it occurs to you, you have indeed found a tome belonging to the Order of Hermes. A very reputable, in fact, my favorite, sect of mages. With the job complete and a new coterie of sorts formed. That concludes this session of this chronicle. Thank you. Hey. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. Matt, that, that was crazy. Wow. (laughs) That was wild. I don't even know. Everybody, oh my gosh. Uh, Jasmine, Jen, Arthur, SVP. Thank you so much for 
for doing this and playing and just killing it in every sense of the word. Jen, thank you for keeping us on time. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, for real. Please, like, everybody in chat, I can't read chat, but Beach Balls for our, our wonderful GM. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank Beach you. Balls in chat. Jasmine, thank you so much for for doing that. This was, this was the most, dare I say, incredible. Like, I know it's only short, it's a one shot, yada, 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 but like, this felt. I had campaign vibes for it, and that does not happen often in a one shot. So thank you so much for this. Uh, it was so much fun. Um, thank you, uh, everybody, for playing and watching. Thank you again, Jason Carl from White Wolf uh, and World of Darkness for including us in your in your month of darkness for Vampire's 30th anniversary. That is so absolutely lovely. Uh, thank you, Will. Our streaming overlord in the background, the mods, everybody keeping this thing going. Will worked tirelessly on getting this going. Please also, if you have it, uh, if you have the uh, ability to, uh, please donate to Will's birthday uh, fund for Rise Above the Disorder. It is a phenomenal charity for mental health uh, uh, help and awareness, and you can find therapy through it, and they subsidize all sorts of stuff. It is a beautiful charity. He's raising money this Saturday uh, for for RAD. You can find out more at URRAD.org. Um, and, and, and this actually, I want to say one more thing before we wrap up. This is a doubly bittersweet moment because uh, our wonderful community manager, Arthur, is moving on from EC. Uh, he is moving on to be a lawyer, the good kind, um, oh, and wow. to very much help out uh, those who need it. Uh, and he's moving on at the end of the month. We have a wonderful community manager, Kat, coming in. But Arthur, you have been quintessential to the entirety of extra credits for so long and i'm 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 gonna put on my glasses because i'm gonna cry i'm gonna miss you man like it's uh yeah. it's big so congratulations and uh good luck with everything thanks matt like that was super unexpected and yeah i thank you i couldn't have left on a better note this is fantastic thank you all and you the community are fantastic and i can't wait to see the next stuff that ec is gonna do uh yeah, I don't. You're not crying. I'm crying. It's all good. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> um, you know, the, uh, no, uh, thank you so much, everybody. Please check out all the wonderful stuff we're doing over at uh, YouTube and on our Twitch channel. Uh, also, please check out everything that SVP, Jen, Jasmine are doing. Uh, does anyone want to do any fi final thoughts? Anything? Uh, pl plugs, pitches, things. You did so great. I want everyone to see all of your things. <laughs> this was so much fun. This, this was, was so, so cool. much this fun. This was wild. Yeah, this was, yeah. this was pretty crazy. I'm glad you. I'm glad you wrote me in. I'm glad you wrote. Dude, me in. you're you. SVP is one of my oldest New York friends and and a brother in the undead arts. And I'm so glad I finally, after like 16 years, roped you into an RPG, even though it was on the internet. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's great. Um, this is a ton of fun. Um, I, I will be uh, on the front page of, stream, of, of Steam on uh, Friday morning at 11 a.m. Pacific talking about Dungeons and Dragons. So that's nice. going to be a lot of fun. Nice. Um, yeah. and also Dude. on the mental health front, I am a Jasper's Game Day ambassador. So I am doing a bunch of work in terms of destigmatizing mental illness and talking about mental health and making sure people are uh, taking care of their mental health and have resources for it. So um, Come find me on on the other places on Twitter at DreamWisp, on Twitch DreamWisp Gen, and we chat about that stuff too. So good, yeah. good, awesome, yeah. fantastic. You All can right. find me everywhere at that bronze girl. Uh, I do a lot of GMing and DMing and storytelling, um, mostly on Twitch, but I put the vods on YouTube, so you can check it out there. And I'm at that bronze girl everywhere. Awesome. And SVP, any 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 final final words from our Baron? Uh, look, y'all, y'all get on my nerves, <laughs> but, but I, I have to admit that I am happy and grateful that y'all saved the territory because let's face it. We, we do good stuff here. Y'all are some goofy mofos, but we do good stuff <laughs> here and it's very important. And I, and I thank you all. Even you, Shade, you. 
Good God. Oh, uh, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> everyone, please Speaking check out of SVP's. chaos. Yes, everyone. It, it, uh, chaos personified. Uh, yeah. Uh, Brookwater's Curse, volumes one, two, and three. Uh, you can find at local bookstores or uh, online. Please check that out. SVP's phenomenal uh, vampire writings as yes, well. Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, my website, uh, www.laughingblackvampire.com. Irony. So um, <clears throat> please visit. Also, if you just want to hang with me on social media, uh, on Twitter and Instagram, I am at SVP Thinks. There we go. Easy, All right, easy. everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for Vampire Day slash Night. Who named this thing? Uh, and, and we hope to get to do some of this again. And until then, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and the rest of your week. Have a glorious weekend and we will catch you next time. Oh, Zoe showed up. Bye, Zoe. Zoe! Bye, Zoe. Uh, uh, You're Zoe gotta... fans in this house. There we go. Oh, I lost my oh, headphones, so I'm not going to see Oh, oh, oh. She got oh. away. No. She got away. <laughs> we can't see her. Anyway. <laughs> She's like, what the hell? All right, everybody. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye, all.